<laughs> That's why you went all black. Unbelievable fucking person for I you. Thought, oh, I took Jason now. I haven't been on two seconds, I'm swearing. Your favourite film. <laughs> I've oh. even got the steel book here for you as well. Look at this. No, look. It's very kind Lovely of you. Steel book. <laughs> no. No. Shocking. <laughs> This is going to get hot, so don't worry. I'm not going to have it for, for long. <laughs> you better not. Jesus Christ. Don't want any more of that business. I don't mind Mongo Robbie, but just not the flipping film. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. everybody, so, by the way. Hello. Yes, hello, everybody. So we are live, and look who's with us. Yes, it's it's Magpie Movies, Jordy Paul. Yes. Uh, right, okay. Oh, my God. Robert Fett's here. Hello, of course Rob. He, is. he said he we was working, Rob. but I'm sure his boss probably let him off a bit early. <laughs> I know what Rob's like. He won't be working, trust me. <laughs> it's a fine line me every night. I've got a new best friend in Rob. He rings me every night. Loving the bits. <laughs> Do you know what? It's getting up now. Yeah, take it off. That's better. Much better. Jesus. <laughs> Don't want any of that. And and to think I was going to go Blu-ray hunting in that. Jeez. No. Well, what hopefully you won't have to. <laughs> uh, Jake is here. Hello, Jake. Uh, Legend Lewis is here as well. Uh, thoughts on Prince Philip? Yeah, sad. Very sad. It was due, though. Really. I mean, due. It was 99. It wasn't it, like he was going to last forever. It kind of was, because a couple of weeks ago, when he went into hospital, and he was in there for about a month... They had family visit him, and they say that you don't normally have family visit you unless there's something, you know, is going to happen. But I was I was on the way back from Poundland with my dad. We were in the car, uh, and I had the music station going. It was halfway through playing Shania Twain, and all of a sudden, they started talking about the royal family. I thought, what the bloody hell's going on here? <laughs> so it wasn't until we got back to the, the car we found out. Yeah, it popped up on my phone as a message. The, the wife was out running. She's gone now. She's gone to our mates, so I'm in the house all alone. But um, that's not a tip for burglars to come and ransack the place. But <laughs> I am here. Um, but yeah, I messaged my mum and dad. My mum and dad didn't know because they were playing with my kids. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's royal. He's not technically royal, was he? Because he married in. But obviously, he was from a good background, etc. But yeah, yeah. The, the funny enough, the wife came in and went, "Oh well, there's one less racist in the world." <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! Uh, where are we? What have we got here? Yeah, we got Rob. Right. Let's see if we can put you. That's oh, me. The Hello. Ad. Hello, me. See if we can put you onto the admin a minute. So hopefully, I won't get lost. No, you're still there. Still here. Uh, where are we? There we go. So, hello, everybody. I'm still here. Um, Rob, I'm not going to comment. Yeah, I just had a look on YouTube. You're not actually showing up on the chat. Oh, well, we'll just see how it goes, Paul. Take it as and it now goes. I've lost your audio. Have you? <laughs> oh, the fun we're having here. Right, hang on a minute. Oh. I'll keep talking. So everybody can you can hear, hear me? me? Hang on. Let me close that. I'm coming back. Can you hear me now? I'm here. I can't hear you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. You're gone. Oh. I think you're gone. Where are you gone? I'm here. Oh no. Do you want me to come back? Okay, right. Okay. Unfortunately, uh we've lost <laughs> we've lost Geordie Paul. 
I'll just wait for him to come back in. We've been having a bit of problem with the audio. Uh, I had to come back out of it, come back into it. Uh, but uh, trying to go over to YouTube to get him in the stream um, to make him uh, an admin to kick the, the nutters out, if we get any, he's gone missing. Um, we couldn't get it. So here he's back. Hang on. This, he's back again. Right. Hang on. Add to the stream. He's Can back. You know? Yeah, that's better. Right, okay. I right, think don't I press anything. Leave it. Let's just stay where we are. Let's that's just leave it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Right. Here we go. Let's crack on. Right, okie dokie. Hildrift TV and movies. Hello, everyone. All right, yes, thank you very much. Hello, Jake. Jesus, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. See, people recognize me wherever I go down the street. They go, Jesus, okay. <laughs> Zerouge Media. Hello, good afternoon. And Jordan Grady. And Hi, Jordan, we have Phil here. Yeah, I love Phil. Surprised. Uh, I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh i'm only here for 10 minutes oh he's still at work how's your willy <laughs> i'm half the man i used to be rob <laughs> oh dear legend lewis birds of prey <laughs> is one one of my top five movies of all time all right i'm going see you thanks lewis thanks for watching <laughs> uh that's the end of that stream yeah thanks everybody for coming uh, where are we? I do, to be fair, to be honest, I do need to give it a rewatch. I don't want to, it is on one viewing and it might change after a second view, but on the then first, it might view, not, it might not. Yeah, I just thought it was weak. That's all. I wouldn't say it's one of my all time hated films, but it's of the most recent that I don't like very much. Yeah, it doesn't rank up there high up with the uh, the rest of the DCs. No, exactly. There's it's not just the yeah, I enjoyed it with what well, I went to see it with Lulu, but. We didn't come out yelling about it and saying, oh my God, that was brilliant and that. No, um, exactly. The fights at the end was a bit was a bit dodgy. and Yeah, it wasn't the best. But to be I need to rewatch it as well. Scott is here. Good afternoon, Scott. Scott's a legend. Love Scott. You old folks and technology. <laughs> I know, honestly. It's been back Jesus. with this yeah, I'm not it's very... just as why my dad's not doing it then. Oh, Christ, no. Even my mum has got a clue these days. Sav's here and no, AJ, AJ. AJ. Oh, my God. Guess who's here? It's Pete. Oh, here he is. Here, here he is. is. The, bullet. Yeah. the bullet is in the house. He's going to be on one of my chats in May, so that should be interesting. I think for your chats in May with... Jason, or the end of the month for Jason and him, he should get like a swear box. He'd make a yeah, shitload. yeah. I see. I might shitload him. That really didn't make any sense because obviously it's a swear box. But yeah, I might yeah. mash the one up. Yeah, yeah. Bing, bing. He should have only instead of a super chat, he should have a swear box chat. Come up. <laughs> I might have to make one of those one. Make make one of those up actually. <laughs> oh, hang on. There are we. Uh, how much in a scale of one to five are you both looking forward to Monday? Well, if five is really excited and you're shitting yourself, that's me. Uh, th I'm possibly, depending on health, um, might be going with Rob. Rob's, Rob said he might drive up here. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So the the eldest is at school. The youngest will be with with the missus, but she says it's it's fine. But she's like, if you go and somebody bunches into you and and you start things might go wrong, then that's up to you. So I'm seeing how things go. But yeah, Rob said he might come up. Um, I might go. He said he'd drive up here, and then me or him would drive up to the metro centre, and then we'll uh, yeah. go in the metro centre. But yeah, I'm, I'm I want to go to H like I've said previously. I want to go to H and B. With the scale of one to five. I'm more towards one or two because I don't really go out that much anyway. Not that I'm a hermit, but I don't have... <laughs> because of the kids, it's not possible for me to go out. So, like, home uh, buying stuff is better. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping H&B have got that like, Bill and Ted in stock. So, if anybody's watching and this... And every time thing, you go out, people are like, in hell, it's James Corden. Yeah, every time. If it's not Jesus, <laughs> it's James Corden. It's an absolute joke. Honestly, I don't even know anybody since I moved down here. How long was it now? 12 years ago since I moved down to Darlington. Uh, and I know about three people that I know. But everybody else knows me as James Corden. It's, it's weird, you know. I haven't got the money, though, and I don't live in LA. Yeah. 
ridiculous. Oh dear. I think I'll have a look on in, in HMV on Monday to see if they've got the Bill and Ted as well. I, I don't I don't know if they'll get any deliveries. Because no. it came out quite a while ago, didn't it? Yeah, but it might have been in stock before the closed shop, perhaps. And that's why I'm thinking they might put it in the storefront. I could be wrong. I mean, I think the only reason I want to get it is because it's out of stock. If it wasn't out of stock, then I wouldn't be bothered, I think. I think it's more the fact yeah. it's a classic item now. I mean, if it, if there's loads of copies in all the HMVs, you watch the uh, the eBay Price prices plummet. plummet. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Lewis, uh, have you watched the new trailers for Black Widow, Cruella and Loki? Yeah, I've seen all three of them. Doesn't they, they all do look good. I think I've only watched the first one for Cruella, the Loki one I've watched. Um, I haven't watched the second one for Black Widow. Um, but on, on the subject of that, I've just finished, literally before I came live, I watched a new episode of Winter Soldier. And I'm not obviously going to spoil things for you. But, um, no, you won't, because I've just finished it about... about no, I meant, I meant people are watching... <laughs> um, it's getting interesting, and I, yeah. I, I'm really, really enjoying it a lot because there's only six episodes in this one, isn't it? Yeah, there's only two left. Yeah, but I'm getting really excited about this one um, more than I mean I've said it on previous streams that I've been on that I prefer this much more than One Division because I think there's more action and there's more. It's not like One Division was more about dealing with grief and coping with that. Was this is full on straight back to your kind of Marvel fighting, which I quite enjoy much more. It it ties in more with the movies, doesn't it? It's closer to the yes. movies. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I can see where it's going. Um, what's going to happen with Captain America? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. When this one feels more like a movie that would follow another one, whereas WandaVision sounds like a filler. So it's like a side episode. Yeah. Mm. But, I could, but other people could disagree, but that's what I think. Yeah, well, I enjoyed I enjoyed uh, One Division. Um, a lot of people didn't get past the first two episodes, but I thought it was a novel idea. And it's not until you get to the later episodes you understand why those first two episodes were like that. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Ah, love you too, Pete. He's a ledge. He's a legend. He certainly is. Jesus. If it wasn't, if it wasn't, if it I'm, wasn't, I'm just talking about the comments. Oh. Um, are we camping outside HMV on Monday? Jesus. So. It's funny, wasn't it? With HMV, Nelly went into administration and now every everybody under someone wants to get back into the shop. Yeah, I know. It's been really good for them, really, I suppose. I've got my CX buggery plan ready to go. Going to get in my chair, grease it up and go. Go, go. Jesus. I He's feel... going to be like, get out of the way, everybody. I'm coming through. I feel sorry for Southampton CEX because Pete's going to go on there on a mission. <laughs> Move your asses. <laughs> uh, Ryan Vincent, do you have any Monsters Inc. 2001 on Blu ray? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. ages and ages ago when I um, when I had the first kid. I keep going about it. I don't want to talk about this. is not about my children, but I wanted to get the first one or the first one. My first. Amber, I just call it Amelie. I wanted to get Amelie all, all of Disney's on Blu-ray. So yeah. I just threw a mission to get them all. Um, and then she got to the age where she wanted to watch stuff and she didn't want to watch them. So I've got them all. The the Our boxes are in the loft and the rest are in like a briefcase at Wolfany thing. But yeah, I've got Monsters Inc. on that one. I think I think I'm I'm two still books. I am two still books away from completing the collection. Um I need Toy Story 4. Uh, and no, I think that's it. I think I, I think it's just two sto Toy Story four I need. Oh, there you go. You know what your mission is on Monday, then, don't you? Cause, yeah, because I've got Soul. Toy Story, yeah. Um, because I need to find it with a title on the spine. I'm sure the English one has a title on the spine. Because I don't want those stupid little pictures. It buggers it out. Tell you what, I'm waiting for because Soul came out. I'm waiting for um the pre-order for Riot to come out because it was pretty soon after it all came onto Disney Plus that they released it, like the day it was coming out. But for me, I'm more, I didn't, I haven't bought Soul. The kids watched it once and they're not really that into it. And I enjoyed yeah. it, but I don't think it's something I'm going to go out and buy with. Whereas Riot, the kids watch it three times, or in mothers now, and they pretend they've got the little wooden things and everything playing with it. Yeah. Um, I really want to get Raya. I think I look awesome in 4K. It's a, um, Soul is a darker Pixar film. It's more um, adult themed, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, death and 
you know, loss and stuff like that, even though it's, you know, it's really colourful and playful with the cat and everything. But uh, I think it's more aimed at the adult, the adult yeah. side of it. Well, most Disney's all the parents die, don't they, at the beginning, whereas this one's all, he dies. Sorry, spoiler for everybody who hasn't watched it. <laughs> it's still a really good film, though. It's just not, not one of Pixar's best, I don't think. It, I understand why it's been nominated, though. It is good. Uh, Jordan says we have to wait another two weeks in, in Edinburgh. Yeah, Edinburgh are pretty strict with COVID. And I think yeah. Ireland are, are way behind as well. I think there's a little lockdown. Yeah. I'll tell you what, once the shop's open, I bet Amazon delivery drivers are going to be happier. Mm. X Brad Rocks. Um, it's the um, the Blu-ray. It's the free movie collection. That's the one that's, that's yeah. out of stock. Correct. Play 10 guy. Play 10 guy. Hello, Peter. You're all good. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, boys, check release date for next two months. All releases on a Sunday, not Monday. Ooh, interesting. Really? Okay. I hope they're not deciding to change it. You know, like the Wouldn't US does it on Tuesdays, do not they? Yeah, because all the, all the guys over there, you can see them going, hoard up on a Tuesday. And you think, why go to Tuesday? It's a Monday. It's weird to come out midweek. What happened to the lass who fancied you from the last live stream? Is that addressed at me or you? I think that was with you when you had Rob on. That's and the one that the uh, we had trouble with. Yeah. yeah, that was a troll. We got rid of that person. Uh, are you watching the BAFTAs on Sunday? I think I will. Uh, probably not. I don't get a chance to watch much telly. Very much me is, is catch-up. Um, yeah. Although... I did get the wife to watch a movie last night. I got her to watch the festival, the one from the In Between Us. Oh yeah, I need to watch that from the In In Between Us. Yeah. Yeah. You know how within the In Between Us, there's like always that one moment, um, like there's when in the second one when there's the the the, the shit going down the uh, slide. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the first one, what is the first one? The first remember, one all... like went to Spain or somewhere, wasn't it? With a dance. Yeah. Neil on the dance floor. There's that, but there's always one thing where you go like that with it and there's a bit one of them in the festival towards the end and me and the wife just cracked up in it so if you watch it it's towards the end and it's 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 one of those moments and i was like oh but the one of the guys at the end it's um no i don't along the lines of birds of prey i haven't got a big um i don't like noel fielding very much and he's oh, wow. in it towards the end um because i don't find him funny at all um so when he came in i was like oh he's in it but it didn't spoil the joint of the film but yes but yeah honestly i'm Going off tangent here, BAFTAs, I won't get a chance to because uh... I think it's Royal. I think it's from the Royal Albert Hall, but I don't think there's any audience at all. Nobody. I think it's just completely empty. Yeah, I don't even know who's nominated to be honest. Uh, Steve says, uh, "Nice big bag, Blu-rays ready for CEX on Monday." I sold all mine on eBay. I couldn't be bothered to wait. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Have you seen White House Down and The Holiday? White House Down, definitely, uh, although I prefer Olympus Has Fallen. Uh, I haven't seen The Holiday, though. It's, that's not Johnny Depp, is it? The Holiday, I think, is the one with Cameron Diaz and Jack Black where they swap houses. It's got Kate Winslet in it, I think. Oh, right. What was that? Really? Oh, I'm thinking of The Tourist, I think, with Johnny Depp. Yes, with Angelina, the, yeah. The, the really bad one, apparently. I said, I've never seen that, purely on the fact that everybody says crap. Yeah. To... Oh, hello. What we got here? Uh, Lucas is here. Uh, beginning of it, chapter two was scary. That gay bashing scene because it happened to a man named Charlie Howard. He was beaten by a homophobic teenager, thrown off a bridge, and he was drowned. Oh, dear. It's a nice synopsis for the beginning of it, chapter two. Thanks. Yeah. Carly's here. Hi, yeah. Carl. Two peas are in the house. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> Carly's on my chat tomorrow, a little bit earlier tomorrow, one o'clock. I know. Doing well these uh, live streams, mate. Are you doing? Yeah, I got. Um, who else have I got? Uh, got movie I from, is it Matthew Blue View? Yep, Matt, yeah, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've got Alex coming on. Yeah, Pitt. The, the, the published author. Um, who is. I went on to Amazon and actually found his books. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, I think he's got three on there. Fair play. Yeah, one. I know. Yeah. Andrew Berry, what we got? Uh, liked the buy multiple blues. Geordie Paul, do you feel the same? 
you like to buy multiple blues. Yeah, I think when it when it comes to an offer and a deal, because of my latest pickup, I've got like the arrows two and then two for sixteen and the two for twenty five and cried. I'm not into my criterion, but because the ones I got, I wanted to see. That's why I got them. But I see yeah. Amazon got two for twenty at the minute, and I said the missus today, I was like, "Have we got any um, spare cash this month?" She's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Oh, just because there's two for twenty on four uh, Ks on Amazon." She's like, "No, we don't." I'm like, "Okay then," because <laughs> I want to get all the X Men in four K. Something else maybe to her liking. She said, "Yeah, we've got loads of cash." <laughs> yeah, hang on. Shall I get another footstool? Yeah, yeah, we'll get one of them. Okay, what about blues? <laughs> She's like, because for some reason out of the blue, I'm getting loads of subscribe mail coming in, which is great and I think is amazing. And she's like, You've got enough coming in the post, you're not getting any more. So Yeah. Subscriber mail is unbelievable. It's, it's something that you would never imagine that somebody would actually send you. No, I know. It's exactly like like with Phil, when I was like speaking with I think it was when I had uh, JT at the movies and Tony from Horror and Todge, and I said that my all time favourite youth and growing up is the Monster Squad. And Phil was like, I'll send it to you. I was like, no, you don't have to, Phil. He's just like, no, no, I will. I'm just like, if you do that, I'll be eternally grateful. And it's, and he did, and it's just amazing. It's probably, I mean, I know I get loads of subscribing me, and I love everyone, but that one particularly had a lot of meaning to me because it was a film that I, I grew up with. Yeah. It. When I was younger, I ran into a news agent and nicked the box with one of my friends and ran out of the, <laughs> ran out the street with it. When I was at school, <laughs> I, I created cards saying join the Monster Squad and things like that. It meant, it was my Goonies as a youth. And that's why when the Goonies come out, I always compare it to the Monster Squad. And I just, even though the Goonies is good, I just, in my head, I don't think it's the Monster Squad. And it's always, because it's got monsters, obviously it's got monsters in it. But yeah, I know I'm, I was going to put it on display here, but I'm actually watching all the special features downstairs at the moment. So if you're wondering, Phil, if you are watching this, it does go here, but I'm downstairs <laughs> watching it. So after this, I'm going to watch that. What is the time difference then between the Goonies and the Monster Squad, year-wise, when they were released? Well, well, what they was the Goonies? Like both mid eighties, weren't they? Well, what year was the Goonies? Is the Goonies up here? Has it got a year on it when it was out? Nineteen eighty-five was the Goonies, Eight. and uh, Monster Squad was eighty-seven. Ah, oh, right. So it's like two years later. But I think I don't know. I yeah. must have got into movies later, and that's why I saw the what, Monster Squad first. Were they basing Monster Squad on the success of Goonies? Um. I don't know, to be honest. I think it was just a case of what, or well, because I was reading the making of, and the director was saying that he wanted to make a movie because he loved like all the Universal monsters in it, um, and he wanted he had these ideas. When he said it, he never mentioned the Goonies in the making of, so I, I don't think that was an influence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but they had to do a lot of stuff with regards to the makeup to make sure that it was nothing at all like um, the Universal ones, otherwise they would get sued. Yeah. So although they look similar, so like Frankenstein's bolts are here in the Universal, but they had to put them on here on the Monster Squad because of copyright. Mm -hmm. So another thing I was speaking to Rob, I'm going to go on about Monster Squad here, I apologise, is that um, the guy, I didn't realise this, but the guy who played the Frankenstein's monster in the Monster Squad is the guy who played the baddie Kane in Robocop 2. And I didn't know that till I watched the making of. And it's not Kurtwood Smith, is it? Oh, I can't remember the actor's name. You're gonna you're gonna Google it now. Oh, it's, no, he was in. I think he was in Robocop. I think he was in the first film. Hang on. He was in the second one because he was the main bad guy who had his brain removed and put inside the other one. Robocop two. You know he wears a flat cap and a beard. Uh... Oh, Tom Noonan. He was the bloke with the axe from the last action hero. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. That's him. Yep. Yeah. But I was, I was, whenever I say his face, I always think Robocop 2 because that's the only one I've really seen him in, even though he's in, in it half of it because his brain gets taken out and all that. But uh, yeah, but you don't see much of him because obviously he's in the Frankenstein makeup. But uh, yes, anyway, carry on. That's why Monster Squad over and done. Yeah, yeah. Robocop 2, I've never really sat through it. You know, I've seen bits of it. I mean, Robocop is always the classic, but I just kind of like phased off from the sequels. I know I've yeah. heard Ro Robocop 3 is pretty shit, but. Oh, it's awful. Awful. But, um, but I well, recommend it Peter... Robocop 2. I'd definitely give it a watch. It's it's more violent than the first one. Was it Peter uh, Weller in the third one or just the first two? Just the first two. The third one. The um he, he, the third guy was too tall had to redo this suit because they wouldn't do the same one. But yeah, definitely give Robocop 2 a watch. It's definitely worth a shot. But anyway, uh Andrew Bay is here. Hello, Andrew. 
Do, 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 do. Hang on a minute. Where are we? Oh, no. Do, do you find when you go to the... I know you don't go through the comments that much because... <laughs> we talk too much. But um, when you do... You flick to the bottom. Room, yeah, it kind of goes right to the bottom and you have to scroll back up again. Yeah, that's one of the main things that when you, invite, when you invite me on here, I thought, great, I don't have to do any of that. Because obviously Pete <laughs> and Rob leave that all to me to do. So I just sit, now I can just sit back and just let you worry about all that. I'm quite happy with doing all that. That's that's something they need to address, actually, on it. Sure, I thought they would maybe have sorted that by now. Uh, talking about these steel books, uh, yeah, I actually do need Onward. So that's the one that I need. But I didn't want to get the English one, steel book, because that does have the pictures down the spine. So I think I'll probably get the uh, the imported one. Is Onward the one that didn't come with the bonus disc? I don't know. Uh, my I've got it on 4K and 3D. I just haven't got it on Steelbook. But I think the 4K came with a bonus disc. But I'm not right. sure about the Steelbook. Okay. Got the Monsterverse films on Blu-ray in the mail today. 2014 Godzilla, Skull Island and King of the Monsters. I haven't seen Godzilla 2 yet, so that will be good. Wow, that's good. I, I see a lot of people have actually had their um, deliveries of the steel yeah, book. Yeah, the steel book ones from Zavi. Yeah, yeah, I saw a few of them people got that. I I had it on pre-order, but then iTunes had it for four ninety nine, and I thought, well, I'll get that. And then the other one might come down on price in two for 30 or 2 for 20 and get it then. Yeah, because mine was the toss-up between that one and the HMV one, the Cine edition, because that looks really nice. I don't know if I need all the, like, the books and the photographs and everything, posters and all that with it, because I've got the blue fans of the original Godzilla, so it's got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, so all, you're, all you're basically paying for is the 4K disc, because everybody's more or less got the Blu-ray anyway. That's yeah, what it is. it's, it's, it's 35 the... quid. 35 yeah. quid on Amazon, on uh, HMV. I'm, I, I, I can't wait. Hopefully, they'll have it in stock in the store on Monday, so I'll have a good look at it. I would have thought so, because it's a new one. It's released on Monday, and it's going to be in there. But, yeah, but hopefully they've already got it now. <laughs> I'm saying that the, the, uh, I had the Man versus Batman versus Superman on pre-order, the IMAX edition one, um, because that's out soon. Is that on the nineteenth? Is that I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the US one has didn't even come with a slip, so I presume we probably won't get one. You know, but it's only one disc. It's only the four K. There's no Blu-ray with it. Is that it? Just the four yeah. K disc. Yeah. I I don't know if it's worth it because I'm not I'm not really bothered about the the IMAX and I know they've changed the colouring slightly but is it really worth paying another 20 quid? That's exactly the reason that I thought I had them pre-ordered but I cancelled it because I thought it's it's one disc which is fair enough but am I do I need to get it and pay 20 quid straight away when you know for a fact DC are going to have stuff and offer it? You don't, yeah. I don't need it here and now I'm not going to watch it as soon as it comes through the door. So well, I've got I've... the ultimate edition anyway so I'm I'll just wait until it comes down cheap. I had yeah. this delivered this morning. Oh, yes. So did I. Finally. <laughs> so I look yeah, forward I, uh, to watching that. I put that on Instagram and people were like, oh, where'd you get that from? So then I had to contact um, you know who to see whether it would be all right. And then he said, oh, um, yeah, tell them. Although I'm not getting any more in stock, I'd let them know. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So after this, I'm watching Monster Squad and then that tonight with the surround on. Well, the surround. The sound yeah. But I've checked the problem. picture. The picture looks amazing. It's got to be better than any of the other bloody editions I've got. The the, the, the trouble with the um, the DVD is that it's like that in the centre of the screen. Yeah, it's so, basically so yeah, Zoom. It's just a sleep. That's basically what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, there was a bit of trouble on, on the Chatting Movies uh, Facebook page when uh, Jamie was posting up a couple of pictures of some stuff that he'd got. And then all of a sudden we got, you shouldn't be advertising piracy. And, and then I had loads of messages from people saying that they're going to, report jamie to the to fact and and all that kind of stuff so i had to make it a point that maybe we not sh we shouldn't advertise it on facebook yeah well that's it that's why when i do my stuff and i do it stream work, when i do my videos or collections or whatever unless it's on i do it on instagram because that's not connected yeah. to anybody but if i post on your page jamie's page movie books page the bluetooth community page anybody i just don't put stuff like that on there but if people want yeah, to message them do you, do, where do you get that from? Then I'll tell them, but I won't tell them on social media. Yeah, so. There's a lot of people on the Facebook group that, that really are against piracy 100%. I mean, obviously, most of us are, but when you can't get a 
release when there's no release you know it's the next best thing it doesn't mean you're going to screw the studio out of money because you know if an official release comes along you'll be all over that oh yeah yeah if he releases a 4k 3d whatever he did with avatar of the abyss i'll be all over that cameron in get your tweet. ass in gear we'll probably have to wait till after 2028 because he's got like 100 avatars isn't he yeah avatar 300 released with a coin signing <laughs> with, with the abyss uh, have you seen Children of Men and Riddick? Yeah, both of them. Children, yep, of, Children of Men's a brilliant film. I had that Arrow Academy, but then I sold it. I don't know why. I think I did. I go to the cinema to see it. I can't remember, but I have seen it. I think at the time I thought it was average, and that's why I wanted to watch it again. But it came, and I thought I haven't watched it. I'm in no plans to watch it anytime soon, so I sold it. But that's one of the only yeah. films where Arrow do their um, sales on iTunes. It never comes down in price. I don't know why. That just few ones yeah. don't. Riddick was all right. I enjoyed Riddick. I have I've got that on Steelbook. But Children of Men with that dystopian look to it, and when they were in the car and they sort of like did a one shot and they kicked the door open and the motorcyclist went flying over. That was a pretty impressive action. Uh, scene. I haven't seen it. it. Must be about ten, twelve, if not longer. But a hundred percent, I've seen it, but I can't remember much of it to be honest with you. Which yeah, to Riddick... I need I need to get it. I actually don't have Children of Men. There you go. eBay's way forward. <laughs> uh, looking forward to shops reopening for Monday. Looking forward to CEX Costa Coffee, CEX Poland, McDonald's, various charity shops, and and the chipmunk. What the chip? What's a chipmunk? Is that a shop? I've never heard of a chipmunk. Unless Chip and Dale or somewhere is. on there. I don't know. It's just shame we can't sit in and have something to eat or something to drink. Now. No, no. Wait till May for that, aren't we? It just seems the new norm now. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But um, you know. They put the figures up how many people infected per hundred thousand. I was checking in the southeast and Folkestone, which is like seven miles from me, is like one point nine people per hundred thousand. Right. And Dover here is about nine, so it's you know, it's so low now. I still haven't had anything from the GP about my um injection yet. But I think I'm in the next lot because I must be in the forty to forty five, forty to fifty bracket. Yeah, because uh, so there might be a slight delay with that, wouldn't they? Because they said there was going to be a couple of week delay. Possibly. But yeah, it doesn't bother me. I'm going to go and get it. You had your first one, haven't you, on both of them? Yeah. My dad's... No, I've only had the first one. I think the right. second one's due sometime like end of May. Yeah, I'm, but yeah. I don't really want to go back to any GP surgeries anytime soon. I've got bad memories <laughs> of late. <laughs> What's your favourite animated uh, movie from 2009? <laughs> Jesus. I have to I've look no that idea up what, what came out in 2009. 2008 was all right because that was a bugs year and everything. Because we had this question, I think, on the last one animated movies 2009. Let's have a look. What have we got? You come up with all these questions out yet, and say, I haven't got a clue. Uh, nine Coraline. Monsters versus Aliens, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Was that 2009? Bloody hell. The Wes Anderson one? Yeah. I Ice seen Age, it. Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, yeah. Up! Up came out in 20, oh, 2009. Of all those you mentioned, it's the only one I think I've seen. Oh, Barbie and the Three Musketeers came out. I don't know if you've seen that one. Barbie and the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Barbie Thumbelina as well. All oh, right. And Garfield's Pet Force. Yeah, I think that would be mine. Yeah. Looking through all done here, of the ones that I've actually probably seen, uh, it would probably be up. The only Disney film that you cry in the first 20 minutes, as opposed to yeah. that. I got, this is how sad I am, because I was watching the rest of Raya on the topic of Disney. Because the kids has gone to bed and I want to watch the rest of it. And it got to the end. And I and I had a little tear run down my face. And the wife looked at me and went, are you well enough? And I went, no. She goes, you are? You're a big... I didn't want to say what she said. <laughs> but I don't know what it was. The last time I cried at the Disney, well, cried. It sounded like a rubber. Was it Wally? And I and we went to the cinema to see Wally. And uh, I cried when she goes, Wally. And he's just not responding at the end with Eva and... Uh, I went, and I was going to like prop this person. I just went, 
<laughs> like that. And everybody around was like, what, just, what are you doing? I said, it was either that or burst into tears. Um, so, yeah, that was my embarrassment. But that was the last um, Disney I got uh, upset about. But Riot, I, I can't believe with the gossip, right? Because when you see the posters and you watch it, you wouldn't think it's kind of a, a moment. But I think I'm just getting soft in my old age. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that. I was going to vent it, but I thought, well, it's coming out May, little June, so I'll wait. It's a bit at the end, if you do watch it. It's very much a kind of Lord of the Rings, you bow for no one situation. So when you get watch it, you'll know what I mean. You'll go, ah, that's when that stuff John James Corden cried. So you'll know. I think probably the last Disney one I wound up in was probably Toy Story 3. See, I've never cried at any of the Toy Stories, which is not like me, because I'm like I said, I'm normally a softie. And Toy Story 2 with uh, with Jesse's scenes. I don't think I've probably watched the fourth one yet. Fourth one's really good. Everybody loves uh, the third one the best, though, don't they? Yeah. Lord of the Rings 4K trilogy is 69.25 on rare waves. I think me and Paulie have already got it, but if any else is watching it, we've got the lovely Steelbook editions. Lovely. They are nice as well. Uh, I really want a remake of The Running Man. That's more close to the book. The book is way darker and the ending isn't positive. It's really negative. Okay. I do like The Running Man. Good film. I like The Running Man. Yeah, it's a really good film. Yeah. But I think Rob likes it because the character's it. called Sub-Zero in it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Ryan is turning 18 on March 27th, 2022. <laughs> you get years son. Yeah, 11 months to go. But happy birthday yeah. if I don't see you or meet you. Uh, have you been invincible on Amazon? I think he probably means have you seen. Invincible. I haven't heard of it, actually. In, I don't, which one's invincible? I have no idea. I'll tell you what I was scouring through Netflix. I think it was Netflix this morning, and they got that new Melissa McCarthy superhero film. Yeah, let's not go down that route. You may as well just watch it. You've got to watch it. What, to see how bad it is? Christ. <laughs> it's free. Why not? This is true. This is true. Jason is having a lamb hot pot and shepherd's pie tonight from the microwave. Very nice. I'm left to my own devices tonight with the wife not here. I'm having <laughs> a uh, a homemade KFC. Oh, very nice. Hash brown, cheese, the chicken, relish, mayonnaise on the top. Sounds nice. That's lush. Have you seen Bad Grandpa and Drinking Buddies? No. Bad Drink Grandpa's the one with uh, Johnny Knoxville, isn't it? No, jo yeah, I've got the still book for that. I've, I've actually never watched it, though. And I Drinking Buddies I've never, never heard, heard of Drinking Buddies. No, it's uh, for me, I'm afraid. Uh, Posty has arrived very late, but has brought me a nice package with the Everything Blue Shaun of the Dead. Ooh, very nice. nice. Yeah, I've got the um, the lenticulars of, of each of the three of those. Really nice packaging and, and still books on those. What is your, out of interest, what's your favourite of the trilogy? My favourite of the trilogy is Hot Fuzz. Same. Yeah, mine's same. Um, there's, a yeah. troll on the, there's a troll on here called Lee, apparently. There is a troll. Uh, yeah, is it Leaky Lee? Yeah, I think we should get rid of him. Well, what's your favorite action film? They've asked. I don't know because Scott's just messaged me and he says that, um, yeah, it looks, yeah, yeah, Leaky Lee, leave my wife alone. My wife is my world. Stop flirting with her. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, get rid of that one. Leave my wife. It sounds like that person that was on here the other week. I know you've got a stalker, man. The thing is, as well, they'll probably jump into my stream at some point, um, on, um, Sunday, but yeah, if you're watching Scott, just click on block them and just get rid of them. And every time they come back, do that. And there you go, it's a way forward because that's uh, the problem. Is when you do these live chats, everybody enjoys it. There's always one person that comes on and just yeah. tries to ruin everything. It's ridiculous. I hate it. Jason is here. You've got to do your thing. Yes, I have got to do my. Th I still haven't got an audio for it though, but yeah, right, let's get your face right in the right place. Da, 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 super chat. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Make it go. Da, dun. Da, dun. Da, dun. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Next week, Blu ray shopping. 
Yes. Well, hey, thank you very much for the super jet, uh, Jason. I tell you what's funny though, when you order stuff online as opposed to going to the shop, you don't really feel like you're spending money because you haven't got anything in your hand yet. Whereas you go to the shop, you yeah. realise exactly how much you've blown on all these loads of stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. going to be scary. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find some nice little stuff on Monday. Maybe not just from there, but uh, CEX as well. Because the CEX Maidstone always have a, has an entire wall of stuff. So I'm hoping all that's been replenished. Oh, yeah. It's going to be, yeah. Plus, you'll be able to get out in the boat and do your uh, hunting videos more often now. Yeah, much better. Yeah. So the supermarkets, it was getting a bit, it, it's stretching it a bit, actually, trying to find new stuff. I know, especially when they get rid of it all. Uh, what films are you most looking forward to seeing when cinemas reopen? For me, it's Top Gun Maverick in IMAX. Ghostbusters Afterlife? I think. Um, Did you then... see the new teaser for that? With yeah, the marshmallows? When... I had this conversation with Rob, because he rang us last night, and he said, have you seen it? I said, yeah. And I, when I first watched it, I thought, you know when they have those half-time Super Bowl commercials, and it's actually a film show, but like, but it's an advert for like a car or Pepsi. I yeah. thought that's what it was. Then I read it was, this is actually a clip from the movie. It and is I was actually Because like, I, I was thinking it was maybe a early promotional thing, that, that at the time when the film comes out, they're actually going to release mini Marshmallow Men. Well, Rob you was know, telling me, fine. because obviously he's in the know, that he says that they're doing little teasers like this because they've got a load of toys to come out and they want yeah. to promote it. So if you start seeing little more, you know, stay puffed coming out, then that'll be why. It's because so every now and again they might release something to coincide with the toy, perhaps. Yeah. Um, and maybe they will release them as, you know, little marshmallow... Keyrings, probably. Con confectionery. Maybe they will release them, you know, in some su supermarkets. Oh yeah, anything, anything to promote anything on these days, anything. Uh, um, well, I'm still looking forward to Bond, even though we've been waiting for it for so long. No time to die, no release date. No we've done these. We've been no dying for a long wait. time, haven't we? <laughs> but but um, Quiet Place Part Two. Quiet Place Part Two. Black Widow, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure um, there's something. There's there's something I, I completely forgot, and somebody reminds me, and I'm like, oh yeah, there's that. Um, June, June, it's June. Oh, yeah, June. I year. cannot wait for June. Dune. I don't know if that is this year next because it's uh, Villeneuve's doing any the guy back yeah. in Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Yeah, yeah, Mission Impossible. I, I love the original. Mission Impossible Seven is due out in November. Yep, it's going to be so awesome. Still, still quite a lot to uh, to look forward to. Exactly, I, I cannot wait to be honest. Uh, what happened to Blue Sky Studios? Stud or studies? I think that's studios. Studios, I don't know. Is, it, is this a joke? Seven, I don't know. Is this going to be a trick question? I think they were they were responsible. Were they responsible for um, the Ice Age movies? I can't remember. No idea. Went into one below today and picked up in Bruges in a black case for a quid. I saw that. that. A good yeah. I still That's don't own that on Blu-ray. I've only got that on DVD. Well, that was on That's railway for three quid. I was going to jump on it, and then I went and it was sold out. That is a really good point. deal. But I did get Amistad. Amistad went back on there for three quid, so I jumped on that one. Excellent. I hope HMV have the recent Doctor Who John Pertwee collection on Monday. It's sold out online, and eBay is too expensive. And if you go to <laughs> CEX, it's probably about 300 quid. And especially for the scale book. <laughs> yeah. Is that been recent? Because I haven't noticed... A lot of Doctor Who Blu-ray stuff come out and then go boom, up in price. I mean, I'm not a Doctor Who collector, but I've just seen from it's all the, the steel top. books. The steel books rocket, rocket in price in CEX. The the general editions, you know, the collector's editions, not so much. It's the steel books because I think there's um, uh, a David Tennant one that was like 150 to 200 quid. Why, why those in particular though? Just because they're out of stock, do you think? Maybe yeah, maybe even out of stock or they're only very limited, you know, produced. Maybe it's only a thousand. Could be. Uh, what's this? Sido? Do you wish that the cinemas were going to open earlier than mid-May as there are America and Godzilla versus Kong done really well at the box office, but I won't pay fifteen ninety nine. I would like them to open because, yeah, I would like to go and see Kong and, you know, Kong and Godzilla on the big screen. I just want to get out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> It'd just be nice to go somewhere other than 
the post office to send stuff I've sold or the co-op or anything just to go somewhere with someone that you can socialise with would be nice. Somewhere other than Poundland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Poundlands in Darlington are awful. They've got nothing here, nothing. I've bought one £2 Blu-ray from them and I think that was Flatliners, the original. And other than that, it's just the same old, as Jamie said, shit. Yeah, there's two there's two pound lands in Maidstone, and they're usually pretty good. They have stacks of boxes along the top. Uh, they have full shelves, and I haven't been in there since probably about November. So I'm hoping there might be some some newer stuff. Might not be brilliant, but might be newer. No, it's I just my don't the Dalton one branches are awful. So and when think... the, when the cinemas open uh, on the opening day, May the ni- May the seventeenth, there's that new Angelina Jolie movie that's out, the action film. Can't quite what, remember is that, what the title is. Is that the What You Did or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. The one when yeah, she's on Firewatch, which is in the... Yeah. I, I watched the trailer for that yesterday. That looks really good. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And really I might be going one. with Lulu and Claire to see that one in Maidstone because their Odeon there is like a, is a Lux. So we've got okay. to recline the chairs and everything. At the moment, the, the Odeon cinema in Maidstone is being used as a vaccination centre. So oh. <laughs> have a movie and get a, get a vaccination at the same time too. Yeah, while you're watching the winning. film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be awesome. Instead of going around with the ice cubes, ice the with the uh, the the ice cream and the tubs, just come around with the vaccine. Vaccine, yeah, vaccine, yeah. There you go. There yeah, you go. the little trolley at the bottom with the key aura and the bucket, yeah. and then you've got. Well, the they vaccines. had the. Um, the thing around the neck, didn't they? Where it was like illuminated around there. Yeah. And they had like one of the little things at the front, and then they had the little tubs of ice cream with your wooden spoons. Good old days. Um, and they were, they were only cheap. They weren't like 300 quid for a tub of ice cream in them days. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, I still think that when the cinema's open in May, there's really not going to be that much. Do you think they're still going to be showing like Empire Strikes Back and Ghostbusters think, and stuff like that? Uh, it depends, though, doesn't it? It depends what's going to be out at the time, because everything... The whole scheduling but, for everything's going to be all over the place. They might chuck something in like that. Yeah, or, or be, in May, they could just throw in all the stuff that has been on streaming that, you know, they can bring people in with. Yeah, I've done I don't know that. if I want to go and see Coming to America, though. I haven't seen it. And, and I don't, I'm not in a rush to watch the second one. Yeah, the first one was brilliant. I love the first one. But the second one, it's just like, it's out of time. You know, it's like 30 odd years too late, I think. That's exactly what I thought with Bill and Ted's um, Face the Music. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. I'm, I need to see that one. Because when I did the review of that one, I watched it. I was just like, it's good if it was two years after Bogus Journey. But because it's now, yeah. it just seems like, you know, when you watch like 70s comedies from the BBC and you think, OK, you take that kind of stuff and put it back in the 70s. It's funny watching now. It's not as funny. It seems to me that Bill and Ted's Face the Music is exactly that. Like, they're, they're like, they just jumped on the kind of rebranding, re envisioned bandwagon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't hate it. I just didn't think it was good as the first one or the others. Yeah. Talking about like reboots, did you know they're doing a new Darling Buds of May? No. And uh, do you remember David Jason played Pop Larkin? Uh, it's going to be Bradley Walsh. Oh, I'm not a big fan of Bradley Walsh. My mum loves Bradley Walsh. <laughs> oh, she goes, I, go, I can't stand Bradley Walsh. She's like, oh, I love him. I think he's great. No, no. So, but no, fair play. He's still he's gone from Doctor Who to that. Fair play. Yeah, he, him and um, Stephen Mulhern just do anything they can get their hands on. I do like Stephen Mulhern though. I do. I think he's funny. I'd love to meet him and go for a drink, and, and it'd be great. Forget the two Ronnies. We have the two Pauls. <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. When you get Pete on, it'll be like uh, two little birds. Remember the thing to one named Peter, one named Paul. It'll be few. Yeah. Oh, we'll that have one. to do that. We'll have to sort of like stagger the the stream and say, I look up to him. Yeah. One, yeah people, one, one flew away, cut him off. One flew away, cut him off, bring them both back. Yeah. Two Pauls, yeah. Well, it's not Paul. It's um, James Corden tonight. Thank you very much. And we just need four candles, don't we? Yeah. Four candles. Four K candles. <laughs> Part two. Uh, what? For just a rental of the movies or even £20 for the Disney ones? Part two. Well, what was the first thing Sido said? I don't was that know. about um... Sido? Oh, it's the um, the first thing you're going to do when the cinemas reopen. All oh, right, okay. I won't pay fifteen ninety nine. I don't. I don't agree with paying fifteen to twenty quid for a rental. I, I think that takes the, the the proverbial piss because I mean, if you go to the cinema, our cinema here is four ninety nine for any film, any time. Yeah. Well, 
why am I going to pay five pounds in a big screen and pay 16 quid to have 48 or 72 hours rental? Well, my view, my view down Westwood Crop is 4 99 anytime, you know, any film. On Mondays, it's 3 99 so it's even better on a Monday. Exactly. So then why would you pay 15 99 to watch it at home? I don't, they're just yeah. trying to get it. It's like, like live, um, Mulan live action. I still haven't seen that one. But that was like the same price. And then three, four months later, you can watch it for Disney Plus. I don't want to say free because you're obviously you've got to pay the monthly charge. But yeah. um, what's, if, you, if you're just patient and wait, then you can watch it for free, technically. But I've got I've got the Disney World Unlimited card as well. I had that originally. So, you know, it's like £17 a month for unlimited movies. And you get so discount you off your cancel that, Hey? Did you cancel that then? No, no. No, it's still there. They put it on hold until the cinemas reopen. Right, so okay. you'll be able to start using that again. Fair enough. Got Batman versus Superman 4K from WoW yesterday. IMAX scenes do look good. Colour change is also better. Cost 20 quid, basically the same as the UK. Yeah. Well, you're good if you had that conversation 20 minutes ago, but that's fine. <laughs> Have you seen Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days, and Blue Street? I've seen Blue Street. That was Mar was that Martin Lawrence? That was Martin I'm Lawrence. I'm sure that yeah. was Martin Lawrence. I've seen I that one. I haven't seen the seen others, seen. though. No, I haven't seen either, any of the Diary of the Wimpy Kids, to be honest. I don't think it's something I've watched either. When it comes to piracy, don't upset the school prefect one on Facebook. <laughs> you can't win. You can't win. Uh, Willie says, Have you seen Race Stripes, the film about a racing zebra? That's animated, isn't it? I've heard of it, never seen it though. Is that the uh, I quite like the name there? That's a good name, yeah. Racing Stripes, no, Willie Stroker. Oh, Willie, Willie Stroker, <laughs> yeah, I missed that. I just put Willie. <laughs> Oh, I'll stop oh when I start laughing, I start snorting. So sorry. Uh, have you seen Sean Connery's Never Say Never Again? Yeah. Which was the remake of Thunderball. Yeah. Which was just the first, that was the only Bond which wasn't officially a Bond because that was M yeah. Because I was, was going to do my uh, start my Bond reviews. I don't have to include that one. I wouldn't because it's not technically in the Bond. It is Bond, but it's not in the Bond universe because it's just Thunderball all over again. And it's got Mr. B. But if I end. do that, then I'm going to have to do Casino Royale, wouldn't I, with Peter Sellers and yeah. <laughs> David Niven. <laughs> and and this, it wasn't a, a Casino Royale before that as well, I heard. Yeah, that is it. That I think it was like 1967 or something. No, it wasn't before that one. Oh, before that? It oh, was shit. a TV no, show, I'm that. sure. I'm sure it came up on some something I read the other day that there was a TV show that did adaptation of Casino Royale, which was before the Peter Sellers Niven one. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Of course, uh, yeah, about two two month, two weeks ago. So the latest one, of course, is the best one. Exploring the world of video games and Blu-rays, uh, Paulie. When are you shopping with Lou, 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 and Claire, Clary? <laughs> uh, I miss them. Yeah, well, I miss them too. I went to see them last week. Uh, we had a bit of a, we had some cup of tea um, outside. Of course, <laughs> but I'm looking, I'm looking forward to actually. Um, spending some time with them inside and watching films and that. But hopefully when we go back to the cinema in May. Yeah, it's going to be different having people in the house because I'm now I'm like, just come around, just come around. Like, we're not. Because if one, one neighbour rings you and sees you, then that's it. You're done for, you know. So. <sighs> Nicole Partridge. Why does that name ring a bell? Probably because that's your girlfriend. You need to ban that one. <laughs> See ya. It is. It is. I remember that from the other week. Uh, yeah, there we go. Andrew, have you seen the new trailer for the Angelina Jolie film? That's it. Those are what we did. Yeah. yeah. It That's reminded me of um, there's a PlayStation game called Firewatch. I think it's called Firewatch, which is all set on obviously the big lookouts. And when I saw the big lookout, and that, I thought it was actually based on that. Um, but when you go into it, it's not. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit of useless information for you there. Oh, to be perfectly honest, other than Mistress of Evil, I actually thought that Angina Jolie had retired from acting and she was just into direct now. I haven't seen much Jolie stuff ever since, I think, Tomb Raider introduced her to the world, which was great. Yeah. Um, and then, what else do I... Gone, gone in 60 Seconds. The, cha the cha Challenge, The Changeling. That was a really good film. 
sitting Clint like Eastwood, 20s, 30s. Is that the Clint Eastwood one when the kid goes missing? I think it's a Clint Eastwood film, yeah. That was a really good one. And she was in, um, um, what's wrong with the Ben and the Bullets? Wanted. wanted. That's one, that, yeah. that needs a sequel. That definitely needs yeah. a sequel. That was a good film. Because I didn't know as well, you know, at the beginning of that, when, when he quits his job and he gets a keyboard and he smashes against that guy's face and it comes yeah. up, fuck you. That's Chris Pratt, who he hits on the face. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to go back and watch that again. Again, I didn't know that a couple of weeks ago when somebody came up and yeah. said, look, this is um, Xavier hitting their star Lord in the face. <laughs> uh, you got any ideas what the first pickups will be when the shops are open? I wanted to grab up the original Mortal Kombat and the HMV Premium of the original Scarface. What's going to be your pickups next week? Anything interesting? Just the Bill and Ted, really. Um, mm. If, if I'm if if get and about, because a lot of the what I do is every month I kind of go right. This is what films I want to get, and I kind of get those. And if I have to sell them to someone to fund them, I do that. So as it stands this month, I've got everything apart from the Urban Legend trilogy, which is on pre-order, and I think that's out on ten days time, the nineteenth. I could be wrong. Mm. So everything else I've kind of got. So if I was to go Blu-ray hunting, if I'm well enough to go on Monday with Rob and he does come up, then I'm purely just going to look for Bill and Ted and see if it's that's yeah. there. Um, but I mean, this month, my main... Have I got it here? I don't even have got it here. The main, I haven't got it here. The main one I wanted to get this month was... Um, what was it? I can't remember now. I, I think it was just the the, um, the Elephant Man one because I've been wanting to get that, that for ages and I saw that... Is that, like a, is that like a gatefold one? Yeah. Quite a, quite a it's the big thing. thick one. Oh, I'm back in there. That one. But then when you up, it's the you open it up and you've got the yeah that's really cool and it's got a massive thick book like an arrow one but thicker um but yeah I got that on eBay for twenty quid twenty quid twenty quid and brand new it was like thirty thirty five wow so I was really happy when that came and it took me ages to get into the box as you might have seen in one of my videos yeah. to kind of do that <laughs> I was gonna do the fast forward thing where you do 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 a little and I was just like this is taking ages let's just cut to the stitches <laughs> but yeah. I love this film. Even though, I know it's David Lynch, but um, I think it's another one that I cried at the end of that one. It's it's just I think because it's I, I'm at the very historical kind of films, so anything's got a yeah. historical connotation to it, especially with being Joseph or John Merrick. And I knew about him beforehand. Or then I, I think I watched that when I was younger. Then I learned about him. Then I watched it again when I was older. Know more about history and things like that. Um, but yeah, that and that and Mask are kind of similar. You know, in yeah, theme, yeah. Yeah. I did like that Masters. Was, um, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Eric, on it. He was the one who was originally cast as Marty McFly, wasn't he? Yeah, Eric Stoltz. Yeah, that's right. Eric Stoltz. Yeah. Yeah. His career could have been so much differently if Michael J. Fox couldn't leave their family ties. Yeah. Uh, what is your favourite, most famous favourite movie of all time? Can't talk yet. Birds of Prey. Don't slurp your tea. Don't spurt your tea, even. Oh, I like uh, with glasses. Uh, for, well, I've got three. Well, it was two until recently, so it is obviously now, because it's back in my mind, is the Monster Squad, obviously. And then there's the original Ghostbusters. And then Gladiator. Yeah. And that's... Um, oh, obviously, Empire Strikes Back for me. Uh, Rangers of the Lost Ark. Um, probably like Back to the Future, and you know, all the like the 80s classics, 80s, 90s classics. Yeah, that's the best thing with regards to you and I is like the films that we like, we've all managed to go to the cinema possibly to see them when they first came out. But as a new generation who are coming out and going, Oh, I wish you'd seen that on the big screen, I was like, Oh, I did. It was sticky floors, I lost two shoes, and the sweets were like a penny, <laughs> penny a shot or whatever. I remember we used to go to the cinema and pay like 20 pence because we made it work there to get in. And I went to see Broken Arrow, the one with John Travolta there, Batman yeah. Return, Batman 1989, mm -hmm. all that. Um, but yeah, it was the guys' favorite movies of all time. Mine kind of, I've always got like a top 10, top 20, which are always there. But the best thing ever is that your, yours are different to mine and mine will be different to yours and they're all different. It's all great. But because if everyone liked the same thing, it would be rubbish. You know, I love that yeah. because as I've said in many times, many streams, many videos I've done is that I love Romans when I was younger because we lived next to Hadrian's Wall we used to go up there and go to a place called Vindolanda 
Um, and then obviously there's the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves tree um, in Hadrian's Wall there. Um, so all that kind of stuff's so being brought up. And there's a place next to where I used to live called Wall's End. And it's called Wall's End because the end of Hadrian's Wall. So there's loads of kind of Roman connotations up in Newcastle, Whitley Bay, the northeast. So that brought up with the Roman wanting to learn more. Um, so that's why when Gladiator came out when I was at uni and I got to see it on the big screen. And I remember the audience had this massive, it was like from the top of the building down to where the, the bit sticks out of, of, of Gladiator and Russell Crowe. And I was just like, wow, this is just, I think that. And then with Ghostbusters, my dad took us to see it when his work he used to have Christmas. He used to take your kids for Christmas to see a movie. <laughs> um, and I don't think, honestly, until about five years ago, I kept going like that when they're in the library scene. And he goes, you're comfortable, right? <laughs> yeah. And they come out and, Rrr! and I would, I, honestly, till now, I couldn't, about five years ago, I couldn't watch it because of that from my childhood. Um, but yeah, Empire saw that on the big screen, never got to see Star Wars. Um, the same do, with, you do, um, do you do that same with the uh, the 2016 Ghostbusters in, you know, with the, the library scene? Uh yeah, actually the whole film. Or down in the basement, rather. I did, it, I did it with the whole film. Actually, I was actually behind the sofa, just oh. hiding away from the film. It was that bad. And then yeah, I think I left the room. Please turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I funny enough, I went to the cinema to see the new one because Sky at the time gave me free tickets to go and see it. So me and my mate from Dot, we drove up to the Metro Centre and watched the audience there. And I came out and I went, I'm so glad I didn't pay to see that. And then Sky sent me the DVD for free. So I do actually own it. Uh, I do love really... what they did with the with the framing of it, though. You know, having the the beams coming actually outside of the black bars. You see, I ne I never noticed that because I haven't seen it. Since and I watched that in three D, and that looked flipping brilliant in three D. Well, if you take that, if if the if the review is based purely on the light streams coming out in three D, awesome. But because it's reviewed on the film, and honestly, when it got to the bit at the end of the dance scene, I was just like, right, where's the exit? This is yeah. What have you done to this movie? You, the franchise was. I think because it's got Ghostbusters has got such a strong following and fan base, it won't destroy the franchise. But Jesus Christ, it was pretty fucking close. I re <laughs> Honestly, it's just the three D on the whole film was really good. So at least they got one thing right. This is true. What, what is your doing? least uh, your least favorite animated film? Your least favorite. Least favorite. Um, I don't know if I have a least favourite. Um, that is a tricky one. Least favourite. Um, not least favourite, but I would probably say what was that one with Will Smith? Sh Shark Tale. Right. Yeah. Shark Tale. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. Say, I don't know if I could say it's my least favourite. It's just the one that I didn't really connect with. You know, I kind of had no interest watching it. Yeah. I did watch it, but I was just like. Okay. I don't know to be honest because when I, I hardly watch that many animated movies anyway. Um the last animated movie I watched, apart from Raya, was probably Soul Station, the prequel to um Trent Booster. Mm. Um but I think before that, I'm sure there's probably some Disney ones or Pixar or ones that no, I can't I can't think because everyone that's trying it's to think in my head is ones that I've seen that I enjoy. I can't the think thing of a with bad one. Pixar is that I really can't say that there's one bad film, even no, though it, you know it might not. be like the good the good dinosaur. It's got good elements to it. It just may not be as fast paced and engrossing as the, you know the other films, but I still really enjoy it. With regards to least favorite, I think I feel sorry for the most overlooked. This, this is purely from having two two girls. The most overlooked princess is the last from Brave. I think she gets. No press at all. You've all got your Cinderellas, your Mulans, and the <laughs> poor lass from, from Brave gets nothing, even in the little things that come out in the new Kinder Surprises. There's nothing Ginger there. Ginger haters. <laughs> and, and she's voiced she's voiced by um, Kelly MacDonald, who's in Line of Duty. Yeah. yeah. And married to the basis that with Travis and Trainspot. And she was, in, she was in Boardwalk Empire as well. Oh, right, okay. I think, really see, the thing is, as well, with regards to Lysette or Brave, I always forget her name. You see? Yeah. Which is sad. I'll forget it. It'll spring back. I'll come out of nowhere. Who is the person that starred in the film Nobody? The film trailer with Brian Cranston. No, it's... um. Guy yeah, from Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Why can't I remember his name? name? 
Jesus. Merida. I... Merida. That's the name Who? of the last from Brave. Oh, right. I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have remembered that. Yeah, there you go. You'll pop in the head. Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, you know, it comes off the tip of your tongue. Yeah, it's a really good film. It looks really good. I was going to ask you, you watched that boss level, didn't you? No, I haven't seen it yet. I've got got it to watch this weekend. Blockbuster rental. (laughs) Jamie sent it to me, the bar. I don't want to watch that. I've also got Shadow in the Cloud to watch this weekend as well. I haven't seen that. I have watched the first five, ten minutes of it, but my um, highly above board stream wasn't working. I should really watch Tom and Jerry, but I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I got the opportunity to watch it, but I turned it down. Jason's hi Phil. I hope you're well, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh... This is what I do when the chats come up. Everyone's talking to each other, and you've got to go through the yeah. chats to help each other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, nobody. Um, I don't know when that's out actually. It should be next two months. Or that's another one that's probably been delayed. Uh, what is your opinion on Final Destination and Step Up? Well, I've never seen Step Up. Seen I Step enjoy up. the Final Destination films. Some are better than the others, but they shit me up. And I know the second one is a lot of people's hated one, but I thought that motorway scene, that freeway scene, was bloody brilliant. The whole scene. Yeah, the first one, you've got the plane. The second one, you've got the highway. The third yeah. one's the roller coaster. Roller coaster. I th- the suspension bridge is that the fourth one? I think that's the is that not the final or, destination? Or is that the train, the underground train? Well, I can't remember. I enjoy all of them, yeah, they're quite rewatchable. And if I love bit... how the last one ties into the first film. You see, I haven't seen them that long, I can't remember. I had them all, but as usual, I bought and sold them to fund something else, which yeah. I then probably sold. So, I, I don't and every time I'm driving down the road and a bloody lorry comes past with logs on it, I just shit myself. I just yeah, floor it's, it's it and get head, past it. it. Even, even when I get on a plane now, you always think of Final Destination. <laughs> roller coasters? Nah, you're right. No, I hate roller coasters. Hate them. Jordan uh, cried at the end of Toy Story 4. I cried more at the end of Toy Story 3 than 4. But we're grown men here, though. We, we are hard. We're not just real crybabies, just so everybody knows that. Is that Godzilla in your bedroom? No, oh, I think you mean here. This yeah no this is um no it's, it's Grogu isn't it the other side so we've got Jordy Grogu yeah and then we've got so that was of Rob and then we've got this is from Jason this is my um when he said thanks for promoting his channel I got that as a thanks and that's the um you've seen this haven't you is it Jurassic Park yeah have you not seen it I thought you might have seen. this is have. um it's the one that spits yeah this is the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park that kills Nedry yeah. when he's trying I'm to escape run... yeah I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. And he goes, woo, woo, woo. And it's, yeah, that's because he messaged me and he went, what movies do you like? And I was like, oh, I like Jurassic Park this. And he goes, oh, it's Jurassic Park with Sphere of Dinosaur. And I said, Dilophosaurus. And I, I don't know how many times the, after the, the iPhone said, are you sure you want to spell it like that? Because I've no idea how to spell Dilophosaurus. I know what it's called. Um, but yeah, that was my favorite dinosaur. And he sent me that. And it's, it's nice because it's original. He's done that and it looks really good. So, mm. so whenever I get subscriber mail, that's like for show. And I'll, I'll try to kind of put it around me. But I've only got these two at the minute. Then I've obviously got the turtles and I've got me Back to the Future thing in me, Bobby. No wonder you're extinct. <laughs> Is that? I even I've, had the time. I've got some nice art pieces that a subscriber sent to me. I've got one on the wall over there, which is um, a black and white painting or artist thingy of Venom. So right. I've got that yeah. one framed. And I've, wasn't that on a letter as well, wasn't it? Was that on a letter? Hey. That was on a letter that you got, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on uh, like lined and paper. I've got a couple of others down here as well. I need, just need to find room to put them. I sounded like a proper farm boy and stalker there. That's when he got in a letter, wasn't it? I saw that video. <laughs> uh, have you got another stream tonight? Uh, oh, I haven't. You haven't, have you? No, not, not Sunday. Till Sunday. Who's on Sunday? Uh, Jake and Josh. Oh, right. Okay. So that should be interesting. And Pete? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, it's always going to be me, Rob, and Pete. So I kind yeah. of take that for granted. But yeah, Jake messaged me ages ago and he was having a bit of problems with online stuff. And I said, look, as a favor, 
to show that not everybody online is a dick. Do you want to come on and you can come on with Josh? Because I know they both suffer from, I'm not going to go into that. So I invited them on. Um, yeah. And then here's an exclusive for you. A week on Sunday, we've got the return of the ghost that is green. Fantastic. He's on mine end of April. And then obviously the week after is the the quiz part two that uh, you're involved in. I am, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. And I'm going to beat gonna Jamie this a... time. He beat me, he cheated, because what? James threw in loads of Turtles questions that he beat me with, and I'm not happy about that. Hopefully we're not going to have an overload of questions. <laughs> no, I have told James <laughs> when he, when he, when he said 60 last questions hours. last time. Yeah, I'm not going to go down a Brett stream. But it'll be, uh, I've told him about 30 most. So it should yeah, be all right. So... And if he splits... I was going to say, if you split them down into different genres and categories, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be good. My, my upcoming chats, uh, I've got Carl tomorrow, and then James, Movie Bug on Sunday. Uh, and then in two weeks' time, I've got Jason, and then Movie Worm, Jordan, and then Kermit on the Sunday. And then two weeks after that, I've got Alex, uh, Josh, and then Pete. So okay. I've got like three lots of weekends all, all set up um i've had a message from like i say matthew um blue view so i want to get him on as well i want to get lucas on as well you know the filmmaker and a, and a few yeah, others yeah I, I, I went did i go to his stream or he no he went to my stream i had him a few um it's it's difficult when you know these ones and they know the guys but when you do it there are some kind of moments and this is just not aimed at the younger generation but there are when you have differences of movies and things like from different generations, it can be a bit tumbly, weedy, because you, there's those awkward yeah. silences, which I try not to do, because when we have our streams, I can see that Pete goes quiet or Rob goes quiet, and, and I just go, blah, 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 try to kind of <laughs> over, over the cracks and everything. And see, the thing with having, with having Lucas on is I'm going to feel like a dumb shit when criterion oh, yeah. conversation comes yeah. up. <laughs> Lucas knows his director shit. Hats off to Lucas. All this stuff he's made is really good for the age that he is. I'm not belittling him by that. He do, All these short stories, uh, movies are really good, and I can't praise him enough. If if I was younger, I'd love to be doing all that stuff, but um, mostly, sadly, I didn't. All, all I did was make crappy media studies music videos for an oasis. Yeah, he's, he's, very, he's very talented. A lot of the young guys are very talented. They know where their focus is and they know what they want oh, to yeah, do. Oh, yeah, definitely, 100%. 100%. Uh, where are we, Jason? Uh, Halloween and The Fog, Friday the 13th, and Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, Urban Legends and Final Destination are the best horror films of all time. I don't see The Shining in there. No, yeah, that's kind of... Uh, or Urban The Thing. Legends. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen Urban Legends. But Urban Legend, I think he means the three that are now pre-ordered. Yeah. Halloween's I like Halloween one, two, and the twenty eighteen are awesome. The fog is amazing. Friday the thirteenth. I've got the set, and I'll start watching because I've never seen them before. Uh, they are very much eighties. Not when yeah. I street, I think pips them. Scream, love them. The fourth one wasn't the best, but it's all right. There's no, a new one coming out, isn't there? Yeah, you scream with the uh, the original cast and everything. Yeah, uh, no, he did last summer. I've got the box out here. I'm watch I was going to watch that with the wife because she's into the scream stuff, but she hasn't got around to it. So that's collecting dust, urban legends, and the final destination. That's all, but yeah, the uh, the shining's not on there. Which no, is I know what you did last summer. I was only really interested in the first one because it, it had a perfect cast. I did watch the second one, not as good, but I don't think I've got any interest in the third one. Did you pick up the box set then? No, right, because I, I only wanted the first one really, right. Fair enough, yeah. So it's funny enough because with regards to Jason saying that, I messaged Scott because Scott sends me a lot of subscribe mail. So I kind of said to him, look, what kind of videos do you want me to do? If I do a video, give me an idea. So I'm kind of giving something back to you. And he said, you want to do um, a top 10 horror movies in all time. And I'm not a big horror fanatic, but I thought, okay, so I'll do that. So I've been thinking about that. Um, but the only ones I can think of is obviously The Shining, Halloween. Yeah. Um, Are they top 10 horror films i would really struggle with that because there are so I many i haven't seen insidious no, i'm joking <laughs> but yeah the, uh, the fog <laughs> i mean is would you say they live as a horror film i don't know i don't know 
or it fo it follows would be in it, there. It, it, yeah. Hereditary. It's, haven't seen it yet. Is Midsummer uh, horror? I, that I haven't seen yet. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't don't mention that to Rob. Um. But yeah, I mean, it. Have you seen it? Follows. No. No, I've got that to watch. Actually, that was a pickup from CEX. Really good. That's one of the ones really that one. you kind of go into and go, I haven't heard anything of this. And it's really good. It's the same with this one called Dog Skies, which has got a kid on the front like that with like Yeah, and yeah. I've, I've, found, I've got all these films in the bleeding tubs that I've that I bought, you know, from CEX or Poundland. I just not got around to watching. Exactly. Well, I mean, I've got more, all the stuff I've got here today. I've got like, I mean, I did, did you, I don't know if you watched me pick or, did you, that arrived today. Oh, right. Yeah, I've got that. I haven't seen that. I went to the cinema to see that. That was the first 15 I went to see at the cinema. And I went to buy my dad it on VHS for his birthday. And I didn't have, have any ID and HMV didn't let me buy it. Um, but yeah, so I want to, but that, that is a all time classic. But yeah, there's loads of stuff that I've ordered that I want to watch. But I just haven't, I mean, even this one that arrived yes, yesterday, Lord Flies, the original oh, right. 1963 one, the black and white one, which, which I watched when I was, but you're right, you get all these things that come in the post and you don't get a chance to flip and watch them. Yeah. I mean, it should be easier for me because, you know, I haven't got family and <laughs> I've got plenty of time. It should be easier right? for me because I, I hate them. They can just all... <laughs> I've got, you know, I've got my own room up here. For me, it's either the shifts at work because I do long shifts, but mainly, like, the YouTube takes up a lot of, lot of your time as well. So most of the films I get to watch is usually, like, what flick or, or the Poundland bin. Yeah, exactly, because it's to do with YouTube. Right, so you don't have that chance sometimes to do your own stuff. I, yeah. I understand that, yeah. It's like yesterday when... The kids were at my mother's and I dropped them off and I came back and the wife's like, can you do this? So she's like, before you go tomorrow to do what's getting done and you can't do any heavy lifting and heavy work, can you clean out the shed, cut the grass, hoover the house, dust this, do this. So once she's working, I had all this stuff that I had to do. And at the same time, because I'd watched that uh, Benny Loves You, was it well, Buddy Loves You the night before? I know Jamie had done a review the night before that. I thought, oh, I'll do a video for that, but I want to do a funny intro like, like I did with the James Corden thing. Yeah. And, and then I want to do with that. And I did it, and I watched it, and I was just like, that's so bad. But I'm going to put it on anyway. So then I did. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. It was almost as low budget as the film itself. Yeah, that was so funny, that that clip that you did, all dressed up with a suit and that. <laughs> oh, it's just, I lie in the night time, and I think, right, I'm going to do this video, but I need to do an intro. Because I knew I was going to do a review for um, Tate Maud, because obviously Jamie had sent it to me, so I want to watch it. And I thought, right, what can I do? Oh, I know. He calls, because Jamie calls me Corden, and that's ca catching on, then why don't I dress up as him and pretend I'm going to interview them, but then have someone berate me? And that was it. So the, the wife was like, what on earth are you doing? You're talking to yourself now. And like, well, there's no one else to be funny with. I'm just going to do it myself. Mm. We've lost a lot of comments at the beginning. Oh, dear. Yeah, they seem to have gone off the top. Sometimes, you know, when you delete somebody... Um, as a troll that you do sometimes lose them. I think maybe the comments only holds like a certain amount, maybe a hundred comments, and then you lose the top section when you get more coming in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, one of them I've... was Carl has just seen the Melissa McCarthy film. So, okay. So I look forward to a review on that one. <laughs> Face plant moment might be there. Uh, where are we? Uh, James, James Millership, the quiz master himself. Oh, there he is, legend. Power he sent me closing um, down in Dudley. Jim sent me um, what do you call it? Oh, hang on, there's another troll at the bottom called Shirley Crabtree. <laughs> Shirley Crabtree, that's Big Daddy, isn't it? Or is that Giant A Stacks? I've got no idea. But if... Shirley Crabtree, I'm sure that's maybe Big Daddy, the wrestler. No, Rob said he's on. Rob said he's on troll duty at the bottom. Troll duty. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ridiculous. But yep, Jim sent me the um the festival to watch, which is very kind of him. So the wife we're like, we're like troll magnets, aren't we? I know. Honestly. Unless that troll happens to be disguised as Kelly Brook, then I'm not interested. That would be nice. Uh Bugsy Danger. Uh, if you could play a character in history, who would it be? Character in history. Uh, it says, I would love to have been John Lennon. Mm. Obviously, not the ending bit. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. But like to have been around in the 40s growing up with his upbringing and then having this fame thrust upon you when you've got to Berlin and Hamburg to come back and have all these kids screaming at you. And I would love to have experienced that as the first proper boy band in the 60s. And then obviously going on to such fame, that would be nice. I would be, I think I would probably be uh, John F. Kennedy and I would just duck. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for that grassy knoll. See you later. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Uh, did you know next year there's going to be a live action Jungle Book 2? No. no. I didn't know that. But I'm still halfway through. And that was another subscriber mail I got off Scott was Jungle Book 4K because I'd never seen it. I know it's on Disney Plus, but obviously the stream is not the best when you want to watch it in 4K. But I tell you what, it looks really good in 4K mode. It's a good film. I am. Because I've changed the story a little bit. Um, I'm only up to the bit where Scarlett Johansson's playing car. And he's just met Baloo, Bill Murray, and he's gone to get the mm-hmm. honey off the top. That's yeah. as far as I've got into that at the moment. But I'm yeah, that, that and Beauty and the Beast, I think, are my two of the favourite, you know, new new breed of live action ones. I do like Lion King. I'll always have a thing for the Lion King. What's your favourite quiz show? I did enjoy Strike It Lucky. Hmm. Yeah. Top middle of bottom. Top middle of bottom. And I, I think he's brought that back in the Alan Carr uh-huh. with his game show thing. Did like the triple factor? Um, who wants to be a millionaire and weakest link? I I think I like both of those, but I also like blankety blank, blankety blank, blankety blank. With Les Les Dawson. Was it Les Dawson? Yeah, Les Dawson, yeah. I would have watched it. Yeah, I watched it with Les Dawson. And Kelly um, Warren did that. I don't know what you could offer people now because what's the point of having a checkbook? <laughs> yeah, a blankly black, blankly blank checkbook and pen. What's one of those? You can't do that contactless. It's It'd be like for... a blankly blank Visa card now or something. No, family fortunes are quite like that. Family fortunes, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, and I really like it with um, Gino De Campo doing it. <laughs> yeah, because he can't understand some of the things he asks. Yeah, because he can see his audience going, "What? What? What's he asking?" I from Sheffield, like man. Gordon, I didn't like the new Gordon Ramsay one. What the fuck was that about? Was that the one where they're balancing the... The balancing, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I haven't watched I that. I didn't get it. I haven't watched that. I tell you what, kind of similar to that, as an easy go on, me and the missus watched Dinner Date on the night time. That's... Uh, she's like, I w- she's close to me. I wouldn't mind going on to that. Men buying, making me three-course meals three times a week. Love that. I was like, it's not happening. What's, what's the one with Philip Schofield? Was it? Is it The Cube? The cube, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That's too yeah. tense, that, though. Sometimes, I mean, I'm not a big person who's like it's too tense, but I'm like, just cut the flipping chase. Not, not the actual. I don't mean the show, the chase, but I mean, it's just like, oh, can you do this? Just get in there, do it. Can you do it? No, don't. But I have to build up the tension and everything. Uh, is there a Disney film you haven't seen? Lots. Uh, there's loads, actually. There's loads of original classic animated films I've never seen. I've never seen like Black Cauldron. Oh, what? Um, never seen Black Cauldron. I've never seen 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, there's some of the older classic Disney ones that I've not seen. Fox and the Hound, have you seen that one? Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. But, I see, I haven't seen things like Oliver and Company, Lady and the Tramp. Um, I think when I got to a certain age, I kind of stopped. And then I liked them and I stopped. And then Beauty and the Beast came out and I went to see that in the cinema, the animated one, Lion King, Aladdin. And then I think then it stopped again. And then I haven't watched them all until like I think Toy yeah. Story. And then well, one, of my, one of my favourite Disney films, not animated, but very underrated, is The Black Hole. That's very good. I like that. I think that was scary. US that used to range. scare me when, when they had no faces. Yeah, um, it's on, I think it's on Disney Plus. I'm pretty sure it's on Disney Plus, on Star. But uh, yeah, I think you can only pick it up in America in the, um, like the Disney Club. I don't think yes. there's a... a 20,000 Leagues of the Sea as well. That was a good classic Disney yeah. one. Yeah. Like that. God, we're showing our age now, aren't we? Absolutely. Old, old parts here. Uh, have you started watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Yeah. Yeah, we're both up to date on that one. Awesome. Uh, what... What do you think of Sea Biscuit? I haven't seen that. 
That's your, that's no, your mate, Willie Stroker again. It, oh, yeah. That's to, it's Toby Maguire, isn't it? It's the, it's the horse, biscuit. isn't it? Yeah, the one about the horse. Don't see that one. Scott, Scott says uh, the stream is the highlight of my day. Obviously, today, when on Sunday, it'll do my stream, so that's very kind of you. <laughs> oh, hello. Hildreth is off, I think. Be doing a shoot soon, but been That's a pleasure. Jay's just come back as well, hasn't he? Although he's doing his YouTubes. Um, he left at oh, about half hour ago. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks anyway. You know, if you watch us on the um, <laughs> yeah, thanks anyway. Very much. Do you have a PlayStation Two? No. Yes, it's in the loft. Do you really? Do you have a PlayStation Three and Four? And the PlayStation Three and Four is down here. Oh. I don't have a Five. The PlayStation Three was originally brought up to be a DVD player. Blu-ray player up here, and the PlayStation 4 was downstairs in the front room, but because I was working from home, then I brought the PlayStation up here, so in between I'm doing stuff that I can kind of... Yeah. And the PlayStation 3 doesn't have Disney Plus or Apple TV on it, so I've got to use the PlayStation 4 to watch Apple TV up here. I, I still don't know why that to... Apple TV login didn't work for you when I let you have a go. Mm, could be. Uh, what is your least favourite Bond film? Mine is Quantum of Solace. Probably View to a Kill. What? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I wasn't a big fan of Roger Moore. I think, I think mine's tied. It is between Quantum of Solace and Die Another Day. I mean, Madonna, why? Invisible Car? Yeah, Die Another Day is not, yeah, Die Another Day is not the best. I don't Even mind Quantum of Solace. The theme tune to both those were pretty shit as a Bond theme. Everybody knows the best Bond theme ever is Living Daylight. Mm. See, I love Timothy Dalton as, as as Bond. He was just like my... He was, Yeah, he's a very underrated Bond. Licence to Kill is one of my favourite Bond films. It's just so good. I love um, Robert Davey. You know, the, yes, um, it's the buddy when he gets... The oh, buddy. <laughs> I was going to say, but exactly because he got more... It's kind of more vicious, isn't it? Because you've got the shark-eating sequence, which you don't normally see in Bonds. It was... I think it was the first... I think when it came out, it was a 15, I think, at the time. It was the first time a um, Bond was put up there. Wasn't his henchman Benicio Del Toro? Yes. In a kind of yeah. non-English speaking role. That's right, yeah. Yeah, first time I'd ever seen him any, in anything. Yep, that's right, yeah. Okay. Uh, what colour is Woody from Toy Story? <laughs> Yellow and blue, isn't he, with a bit of brown? Yeah, with the jeans on and his uh, brown waistcoat. Uh, Salt is a fantastic Angelina Jolie film. We need a sequel. I thought at one point there was going to be a Salt too. That is the one where she's like a spy or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've that was it. a really good film. Not wanted, let's be honest. Yeah, she's going to be in Eternals as well, isn't she? Yes, Marvel that's Eternals. Right, yeah. I love all these new Marvels that are coming out that I haven't even flipping heard of and I've got no idea of the backstory of them. It's called Eternals. Well, see, with, the, with the Eternals, it's going to be the same as Guardians of the Galaxy because I'd never heard of Guardians of the Galaxy before. And then that no. came along and, holy shit, this is good. I hadn't even heard of Black Panther. No. I hadn't heard of I the Winter Soldier. I hadn't heard of that. Yeah. I, need, I think I kind of heard of Captain Marvel. Um, but any of the other ones, obviously the big name ones you know about, but anything else... Because Captain... Captain Marvel was DC, wasn't it, originally? I think, and it was a bloke. I've got no idea. You'll probably know more than me. I, I haven't got a clue I with that. I think us. years ago, I think they had Captain Marvel and I think one of them had to change their name. I th oh, it's Shazam. That was yeah. Captain Marvel. But right, they had okay. to change the name because Marvel had Captain Marvel. I'm pretty sure it's some, something like that. I still don't know how they get with Captain Marvel because clearly it's named after Marvel Comics. So how could you have somebody called Captain Marvel? It doesn't make sense in the kind of universe. Yeah, maybe the DC Captain Marvel came along before Marvel. I don't know. If anybody knows, tell us. You know where to type it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, hi, Paul. How, uh, how long do you think Monday's Hunt will be? 90-minute feature length? Jesus. It's been a long time since I've done more than an hour. Yeah, it'll be a, a Brett Blu-ray fantastic one. Eight hours. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Depends what places. I'm hopefully going to try and knock up a knock up a, a couple of charity shops as well in Maidstone. Tell you what, that's one thing I won't be doing if they're open. The trouble is with charity shops. I hardly ever find Blu-rays. 
shit loads of DVDs, but hardly any oh, Blu-rays in them. Exactly. I've still got I've got some VHSs from my mother, so I thought Rob would be interested in them. Didn't want to get them. I've got like Event Horizon on VHS upstairs in the loft. Oh my god. And, yeah, that needs an upgrade. I know they're uh, a US release, but I think that needs a, like a 4K release. It's only on Scream Factory, though, isn't it? It's not anything else. I think so, yeah. Got a nice slip on it as well. Oh, guess who's here? It's that here he is. Twat from Bournemouth. <laughs> Just finished watching Promising Young Woman. Wasn't bad. One off. Good to see you both. Watching anything later? Uh, what's the squad in the abyss? I would like to watch the abyss later, actually. Um... For me, it's going to be probably not what a lot of people would expect. Big Sky and American Idol. What's Big Sky? Big Sky is on uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's Ryan Philippe. It's about these couple of girls that are kidnapped by this trucker and a police officer. Pretty good. Pretty good. So was it a from... series, is it? It's a series, yeah. The uh, second series starts in May sometime. It's from the right. same bloke that wrote The Practice. Uh, I can't remember his name. The, the Practice TV series. I don't even it's pretty practice. good. Pretty good dramatic stuff. I'm looking forward uh, yeah, to watching the best on the telly downstairs though tonight. On my own. With Fridays the sound bar on. With no wife, no children. Fridays I usually catch up with a lot of telly. There's that and uh, For All Mankind and then there's Goggle Box and shit like that. I completely forgot with the soldier because I've been off from work this week. I, I kind of like lose what track of day it is. And then I think it was just before obviously I came on here that I caught up with it because I completely forgot it was out on a Friday. And I forgot it was a Friday. Yeah. And then you get your little uh, notification. Yep. Exactly. Uh, it's Willie Stroker again. Uh, what oh, is Willie. your least favourite superhero film? Least I think favorite. you already know mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of, although I, it is all right, but I'm not the biggest fan of Shazam. I didn't think it was that good. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough, cough me cuts up. That's all right. Shazam. Cough away. It was an okay film. It just wasn't one of uh, DC's best. No. Um, Least favourite superhero film? Uh, Fantastic Four is a pretty shit. Fan, fan forced it, or whatever you want to call it. Fan, the new fan first, yeah, yeah. Well, Green, Green Latin. I, I thought the first watched the Green Latin. The first half of it was okay, you know, like the the origins part of it. What else? Um, I'm going to get hammered for this because I really couldn't get into into the Spider Verse. It's funny you say that because I went to the cinema to see that with my mate, and he came out and he was like, "Oh my god, that's probably the best Spider Man movie I've ever seen," and I was like. I thought it was a bit mm. and that was it. Basically, that character out of the emoji movie, I thought it was a bit meh. Um, mm. So I bought, I haven't watched it again. I bought it um, on 4K and then I bought a copy of the 3D as well. So I got 3D and the 4K. Um, and I haven't watched any more 15 more minutes from the beginning. So but I need to rewatch it because I know everybody, I think a rewatch would probably be really well for that. But I think yeah. I'm not used to watching animation on the big screen and that's probably in the back of my mind kind of blanked it out. It might um, be better it, for me. It might be better to watch it maybe on 4K. I saw it in 3D in the cinema, and the 3D was just all over the place, and I couldn't get into the animation, you know, because it was so jagged. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it looked like very it was much bad comic, proper comic book kind of yeah. um, animation. But no, I, I completely agree with you. I think Spider Verse it does get. I can see where you're coming from with that because when I first came out of watching it, I was very much. It's um, and then, I, then I'm thinking Spider Pig. What? And yeah. Then the, the anime character and um, yeah, maybe it's because maybe, it's got your favourite actor in it. <laughs> maybe it deserves a rewatch. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Uh, to be fair, that might no, I'm not going to. I'm going to do the abyss tonight. Definitely, hundred percent the abyss tonight. It's got to be done. Yeah, movie nation uh, over in the states. Hello, what is the most funniest moment in one of your blue your YouTube videos? Um. Oh dear. My acting. See, probably some of the funniest stuff would probably have been like on the cutting room floor, which just got deleted, you know, takes. But I think probably the funniest video I had was the one with Lulu and Claire when I was Pauline with the wig. So that was the most fun to do, and we just had so much fun recording it. Yeah, well, I mean, I've only done three 
funny openings. The one about Jamie Hilton doing the top 10 tag when I got the wife in the background to go, oh, you like this and all that. And then the one I did is James Corden. And then the one uh, I've just done of uh, Benny Loves You. Mm. Um, oh, the I one... know what my funniest is. Uh, the Back to the Future skit with um, Doc with his goggles. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you seem to have like this costume for every single movie tucked away somewhere. I'm doing that one. That was really I mean, where did you get really the good. Harley Quinn wig from? Actually, never mind that. Why have you got a Harley Quinn wig? That was from that was when Birds of Prey came out. Yeah. Did and you I, actually you know I did the buy that? review and the movie review with it? Did you buy that purposely for the review? Yeah. Okay. I do that a lot of the time. Um, I had a cat's mask as well, just for reviewing cats that I grabbed on it on Amazon. I've still got my. I've I've only got me Django Fat not yeah Django Fat helmet. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking I should have got maybe a dinosaur costume now for Godzilla on 4K on Monday. <laughs> yeah, you could have done that. You could have done that. I got dressed. Funny enough, the people at work think that I look a bit like Mr. Tumble as well. So when I did a <laughs> Skype chat with them, I painted my nose red and I put spots over here and I put like a yellow top on and I had a little bag. So when, so when I came up to Skype for when we were, when we were being homework and everybody gets to see each other again, I popped up all dressed up like Mr. Tumble. So there you go. Ghostbusters. Um probably have to dress up as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or something. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go Slimer then. That's fine. Oh, she's still here, old Shirley Crabtree. <laughs> Willie up my bum. Is that Willie Stroker up your bum or is that just... Gone anyway. Got rid of him. Uh, right. Legend. Um... Oh, I think we've had that one. I think somebody else asked that same question. That's the problem, is yeah. it? When you're trying to catch up, things have been... Uh... Yeah, there, there he is. Say his name three times. Yes. The ghost of the green I can't frog. turn the screen green just for you. <laughs> no. You should have a little Kermit's ghost logo like you've got for the Super Chat. Yeah. And... Oh, uh, Legend Lewis. Uh, have you watched any of the Muppet, further more of the Muppet movies? Now, I think I've got three left. I think Muppets in Space is next. So I need to watch that one. Have I watched any of them? I think I watched one of the new ones. I probably watched Lords when I was younger, um, but I I haven't watched any. I used to love Muppet Babies when it was on a Saturday morning TV. Mm. That was one of my um, favourites. But yeah, I, it's not for me really. Favourite Nicolas Cage movie? Raised in Arizona. <clears throat> See, I'll go more action. Um, The Rock. With Sean Connery, yeah. Rock Connery. Both that and Conair, I have really a lot of fun with both of those films. He's good in um, Bring Out, Bringing Out the Dead. Never seen that one. I've never seen that one. It's on Disney Plus as well now. It has oh, is never, it? never had a Blu-ray release, but it's on Disney Plus. Another one. Oh, hang on! I've got to scroll back down again now. <laughs> oh, we've got a bit behind. Always oh, the same. Uh, uh, what is the best TV you ever owned? Actual TV set. Owned it and sold it. It was my DVD version of DVD copies of Quantum Leap. I think they mean actual TV set. The actual TV itself. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Probably the yeah. one I've got downstairs. The um, 4K 55 Samsung. I don't know what it is. is it, oh, I think mine oh. is probably it's a Panasonic, but this thing was huge, and it actually took a van to move it because it came on a big stand. And you couldn't remove it from yeah. the stand. My dad's it was got two one and a half, two and a half grand, uh, and it wasn't even HD. This was before HD came in, but the speakers on it were bloody awesome. It's like having an entire cinema system in your house. Lulu's actually got it now. It's actually in her shed, so she can kick back and watch something. Yeah, mine's downstairs, is it? And I don't know the difference. I purely got it because of the fact of the price. I got a QLED 55-inch 2018 is the one I've got. Yeah. Hopefully at one point. I want to get, get an OLED eventually. Um, it'll probably be a, an LG, but... If what I is the difference this... between an OLED and a QLED? 
I think I just I think OLED handles colours and darker colours. You know, the black's better. Um, size wise, I mean, my projection screen. Although it looks really big, it's only really 60 inches. So no bigger than a standard TV. That's because this room is like 10 feet by 15 feet. Yeah, but you've got to have it to fit the room, haven't you? Yeah. Um, the TV, that the Samsung TV that I bought is only 43 inches. So it's really small compared with TVs I've had in the past. But mm -hmm. where it is now, it looks huge because of the size of the room. So I think if I got an OLED in here, it would probably be no bigger than maybe 50, 50 or 55 the funny thing is, when before we moved, when we moved into the other house, not this one, I had a thirty-two inch Samsung, um, and then I wanted to get an upgrade, and then I got the one which is here, which is the forty-seven inch three D, uh, and that at the time was like, wow, look at this, it's like nearly fifty inches, it's three D, now I had a three D telly before, look at all this, the glasses on, loved it, but then I think it's, I don't know, it sounds silly to say it, but you've got this forty-seven inch or the fifty-five downstairs. And you, and you first get it and you're like, whoa, it's so big. But then you get used to it and then you go, I'm used to this now. I want to get a bigger one. It's almost yeah. like when people come in, they go, oh, you got a big telly. And just like, well, it's not really. Well, it's bigger than mine. Well, possibly. But I just, I, plus because of where it is in our, in our living room, I've kind of put it up against the wall. And I don't, I think it sounds, how can I phrase this? I don't think I embrace the 4K-ness as much as I would if I was sitting closer. I think yeah. the closer you are to a 4K telly, the better it is. But because it's so far away, but I wanted to get 65 and, and the missus went, no, this is my living room. That would embarrass me. So you're only getting 55. So there you go. I've got but my, I um, my high sense is 65 downstairs. I, I was thinking of going upwards, maybe 70 or 75, but that would actually block out the entire window. So <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> depends if you got the room for it, really. I mean, I'd it's love a, to have it's like quite a big room room downstairs. Yeah. But I think but I, 65 is perfect size for the one downstairs. I'd like 65, but um, wife says no. So, can't. I'm starting to upgrade some, if not many of my Blu-ray to the 4K editions. The Captain America and Thor box sets are looking tempting. Are they good quality, as in the 4Ks themselves and the boxes? Um, yeah, they are a, a noticeable upgrade on most of them. Uh, some, maybe not. No. No, Avengers. Uh, the first Avengers is a massive the upgrade. First Avengers is fantastic picture quality. Yeah, uh, but I noticed Black Panther. A lot of people moaned about the the four K picture quality on Black Panther. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, some of them aren't. I mean, Iron Man, the first one, isn't that much, but you can tell. Um, I think I think from the early ones, the the four K improves because of technology with the ages when you go through the MCU universe. Um, but with regards to the box sets, the the, um, the box sets, I don't know, the, the, they seem to have little bits. Like the first one, you had a bit of knobbly bits when you could touch them, and then it went smooth, and it didn't go well after that. I mean, the first, was it the, hang on, let me have a feel. No, it's Captain America one. No, Iron Man one. Mm. It's got a, um, the, the words stand out, but everything else, because I liked it when the stand stood out. Yeah, I've got, went, I've got the, the Thor Trilogy 4K box set uh, uh, Captain America one and the Iron Man one, um, and I think the last one that was released, I think it might be maybe Thor what, or Iron. Man. I can't remember which one was released last, but it wasn't as good quality as the no. As it was the, the Thor? First two. Right, it was the Thor? Was it, it was Captain America? No, yeah, Captain America. But Iron now they're Man doing a four Thor. box set of the of the Avengers. The Avengers, movies. yeah, yeah. Which I don't but, don't really need to buy. I've already got them. No, I mean I don't. I mean the only one which is kind of like stands there's two that stand out for my collection is, is the fact of far from home and end game 4ks are american uh other yeah. than that because my mum was in or canadian because my mum was in canada and she's like do you want to bring anything back i'm just like it's not out here yet bring end game back so, <laughs> end, so i got end game out uh it got that before it came out over here but that's about it really but yeah the picture quality is all right but i think the newer they get the better yeah uh, have you watched The Great starring Nicholas Holt and Elle Fanning? No. no. Um, no. Heard a bit. Sorry. Not familiar with that. I love it when people come and I've seen this and I'm going to unclear what it is. When was the last time you fired up the projector? Um, quite a while ago, the last time I watched the 3D movie because now I've got the 4K. I tend to watch more 4K than I do 3D because, you know, we don't get the 3D now, do we? Disney haven't been releasing them. 
I do like to throw on a 3D film every now and again, but I'm trying to catch up with all the 4K stuff at the moment. So is your projector just 1080? It's not 4K? It's not 4K. Right, okay. No, because I did get a 4K projector for about 1500, and I had so much trouble with trying to connect it to the wall. This thing was fucking huge, and it weighed a ton. Uh, and I got the brackets and everything, but because of the distance, it wasn't measuring it correctly. Right, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. And I couldn't get it where I needed it. So I just sent it back to Amazon and got a, got a refund. Would have been nice to have a 4K projector, you know, that also could do 3D. Exactly. That'd be awesome. I'd love to have a 4K 3D telly, but that's not going to happen. Mm. For your eyes only, my favourite. Back to Bond. Do you like Goldeneye as well? Goldeneye is a really good one. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. My pound land has now closed their doors at 5pm. That's the sad news. Now the good news. I'll start making my budget Blu-ray series on Monday. How many shades of grey will I find in CEX? Probably too None, many. because Paul's got them all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Salt was originally going to be a Tom Cruise film, but it was too similar to his Mission Impossible films, so he passed on it. There you go. Kermit has there spoken. You go. Yeah, James found uh, Black Sails from One Below. Uh, Black Sails, is a, have you seen that? It's a really good show. It's Four Prime seasons, I think it lasted. I haven't. I know that um, Movie Bug's a big fan of that. Um, yeah. I, funny enough, I was I did find it on Prime after he was going on about it, and I was going to watch it, but then I think I moved on to something else, so I didn't. But I do fancy... Watching it when you know something's finished and you know it's only like four seasons, and you go, like, I'll give that a go. As opposed yeah. to like Game of Thrones, where you've got like eight obviously, I've watched all the Game of Thrones anyway, but I mean, when you've got eight seasons to go through, or with Breaking Bad, which I gave up halfway through, um, the same with The Wire. The Wire, I couldn't get into The Wire, so I mean, Black Sails, I think, could be for me, but I, I Black, Black Sails is like if you take Pirates of the Caribbean and give it that Game of Thrones feel and look to it, make it really gritty then you'd, you'd probably... And like Vikings, the, the TV show. Yeah, yeah I love it. Both of I those, I, 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 it's the same with... Because my dad's like... I think my dad's watched Vikings and he watched the one set in America where they've been invaded by the Nazis. Um, Is it the man in the high castle? That's the one, yeah, yeah. And he enjoyed that one. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen, I, I think, the first season in that. Because that, that was about... Um, Germany won the war, didn't they? But they had this videotape or something that showed them showed them losing the war. It was like an alternate that. timeline. Yeah, I need yeah. to catch up on that actually. But yeah, black sales. Uh, so we don't even have a one below here. It's, I think that's only a southern thing or like like Midlands downwards. Hunters is a fantastic show if you haven't seen that on. I started that one with, with Pacino. Uh, Al Pacino. That really is good. Uh, what movie do you think needs a sequel? Cats. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it Dogs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, needs a sequel. Um, yeah, Wanted. Wanted needs a sequel. I don't know. I'm trying to think because all the posters are in my room and everything. Um, <laughs> I would like to see a proper sequel in the Alien universe because I know that... Um, does it Neil... Blomkamp, is it? Yeah. He was going to do one. He but was then, going to, wasn't he? Yeah. But then Covenant came out because he was going to bring Hicks and Ripley back and kind of forget about part three and go on with that. I think, as what I've heard, I think Ridley Scott still has plans to do another one or another two to tie it more in with Alien. I'd love, I mean, I, I got a lot of hate, but Prometheus and Covenant, I thoroughly enjoyed. And the 3D in, in Prometheus is awesome. The 4K is even better. Yeah. I prefer Covenant. Prometheus over over Covenant, but a lot of people didn't like the the flute playing and you know the two, oh, yeah. the two Davids. What, what, what did you say? You blow and I'll do the fingering. I mean, how that got past the screenwriters and the script is unbelievable because you're watching it and you get really into it. And he goes, "You do the blowing, I'll do the fingering," and I was like, oh, "You know, you're already going to get panned for this film anyway. Why have you done those? You know." Um, but yeah, I mean, there was an. Ex know, there was an an extended opening, isn't there? The Covenant, which shows the uh, 
Yes. The aliens a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what else sequel wise? Um, I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to think. Um, I know we're getting another one of like Band and Brothers in the Pacific coming out, which is great. Um, yeah. That was originally going to be called the Mighty Eighth originally. Because it's about an air, was it about air things or something. Yeah, it's all to do with the um, the air force. Uh, oh, that's it. National Treasure that's... Three, but I think that's in the works, isn't it? Yeah, National Treasure Three would be good. Uh, maybe put Nicolas Cage back on the map again. <laughs> it would. It do, would. Do a John Travolta, you know, do a Pulp Fiction. Get to be fair, going back, back the only question for Nicolas Cage films, I do like him in National Treasure. Yeah, yeah, they are both good films. And he was all right in. Um... Willy's Wonderland as well. Well, he didn't have anything to say, did he, really? <laughs> exactly. That's probably why, because he didn't say anything. It was just an advert for fizzy drink and pinball machines. <laughs> it was. Because every time I watched it, Willy's Wonderland, I always thought of Wally's Wonderland from um, National Lampoons when it first came out. I thought it was a piss take on that. Uh, Kong Skull Island, definitely my favourite Monsterverse movie. thought Gong, Godzilla vs. Kong was just okay. What's your favourite? Um, I did actually say last week that uh, Godzilla and Kong I preferred over the 2014. I'm not so sure now because there was just something about the 2014 one had that Gareth Edwards touch and I just loved the mystery of it. You know, that we didn't see Godzilla until later in the film and it was a build up. And when they fire the flares, you just see like his leg and you can see how big he really is. Yeah. I, I mean, from from those, from the Monsterverse, the first one is my favourite. The problem I have with Kong Skull Island is though it's good, it's trying to put comedic elements into it with John C. Riley, and I yeah. didn't like the John C. Riley character in it, um, and I thought that kind of took things away from it, trying to add that, I don't know. Um, but as yeah. well, what I found out, I don't know if you know it, you probably already know this, because I, I heard it from somewhere, that Godzilla is only in King of the Monsters about three minutes more than he is in Godzilla. The first one. Oh, right. Okay. Because obviously you don't really see him till the end of the first one. And although it's obviously very much centred on him in King of the Monsters, uh, he's only in it a couple of more minutes, if that, in the entire film than the, than the 2014 one. Hmm. But um, that's true. Bit of trivia. But I did like King of Monsters. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, well, they're all all right, but you know, obviously, some are better than the others. Yeah, but King of the Monsters looks great in 4K, though. Yeah. Have you ever thought of doing a ten-pound movie challenge? Get as much as you can. I would say that would be ten movies from Poundland, but it wouldn't, now, would it? It'd be five. It'd be five, yeah. Unless you get DVDs, obviously, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Just ch charity shop scouring. Do you know, all the charity shops I've been to, the pa the Blu-rays have never been that cheap, actually. They've always been like three, four quid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... You know, not 50p or 20p or something. Only charity shop pickup I've ever bought on Blu-ray is um, a Bobby Robson uh, documentary, which is like two quid. And that's the only time I've ever seen anything. Normally, it's exactly the same as what you get. It's almost like somebody's bought something from Pound and that shit and just gave it to a charity shop, and that's all you kind of get. Yeah. And it's always the same shit in charity shops. But yeah, I mean, £10 yeah. will be challenge. It'll be a bit like bargaining. Well, bargaining is... There's so much money per up for auction, see what you get. See how many Doctor Who steel books you can get from CX and put them up for auction. <laughs> uh, have you seen the 2001 movie Frailty with Bill Paxton? I actually haven't, but I've heard good things about it. I think I have, but it was a. It probably would have been around the time or just after it came out. I think that um, one cropped up on someone's video. I think that was. I think it might have been Carl. You know, Carl. No, nine. I think frailty was on one. the um, Future Boy eighty eight movie because it was for Alex's competition about the film that he saw. Unless that it, you might not be subscribed to him, but it was on that. And it was like, because Alex, for his 300 surprise, was like, what film did you not expect to like, but then you did? And that he did that with frailty. So that's how that's funny enough popped back up. But I think yeah. it's on Netflix now. I could be wrong. But I always get that one mixed up with the one with, um, oh, 
the one with Guy Pierce and is it Ravenous? Yeah, why? Right. <laughs> Sorry, it's my dad. <laughs> He's going, Hello, dad. I get that one mixed up. Ravenous. What was it? Ravenous. It's um, what's his name? God, I keep forgetting his name. Yeah. Guy from Transport and Scott. What's the guy at Transport and Begby? What's his name again? Who? What? You remember Gregor? No, Begby. Robert Carlo. That's it. Um, yeah, he, he's like he's like cannibals or something, and he's got yeah, a guy yeah. Pierce. I had that on DVD actually. Yeah, I always get that really mixed up. I've only seen that once. I think that's on Plus as well, or it's on Prime. I can't remember. I need that's to, to I need go to through. I need to go through um, Star on Disney. Yeah, yeah. well, the flies on there. That's what made me want to watch it again. That was another video I did with the beginning with the fly. That was another shitty yeah. acting role. That's why James Corden's in all these crap films now. He can't act. Anybody going to the pub on Monday? I don't drink. I'm more interested in the shops. You can't sit inside pubs on Monday, can you? It's no, outside it's only. No. Uh, uh, there's the one just down the road for me. I wouldn't. I'd like to go to support them, but I don't want to go because I'll be sitting outside paying for a pint to freeze new bollocks off. Whereas yeah. <laughs> of what I've got left, or I could stay in the house and um, have I my mean, brew dog there. So yeah, I do want to go back to the pubs to get money back into them, but I'm not going to sit out, sit outside to freeze my balls off. Scott's alleged. Well, he's going to mail it to you. No, I asked, I did an Instagram. I do this thing now and again. I go on Instagram, do a live chat, and people pop on. I speak to them. And someone asked about the same question about if you're going to get anything from the shops. And I said, if I go, I'm looking for that. And Scott said, oh, I've got um, Bill and Ted 4K and the Blu ray of Face Music if you'd like them. And I said, if you don't want them, Scott, I'm not going to say no. But at the same time, I don't want you to send me more stuff. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so he's sending me that. So it's very kind of you. And um, Scott is an absolute legend because i know what he's going through and i'm there to support i'm messaging that's what i like and you'll probably be the same with this is when you do youtube videos you get this community that and who don't do videos but they like watching them and, and they form like a bond with you and message you and everything and yeah. scott's like that he doesn't do videos i, I want to get him onto a live stream but obviously with what's going on in his life it might not be possible but i've always said he can message me off videos in videos we can have a chat whatever he wants mm. and uh, I'm very grateful for the stuff he sends me. I'm mean, humbled by the stuff people want to send me. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be, because I'm like saying to him, you don't have to reward me. I am a nice, genuinely nice guy. If you want to speak to me and talk to me about things, then that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm happy to mm. do that. And that's what I love doing this. You've got the trolls that come on and be pains in the backsides and can affect it. But on the other end, if I can make one person smile or people want to contact me and be nice, I'm, I'm more than happy to help things out. Yeah, that's something that happened to me in Maidstone when I was doing one of my hunts. I think it was like last year. It could have been the year before. Uh, and I was in CEX, and then I got a message saying, I saw you in CEX, but I was too scared to come up to you. You know, they, they were too nervous. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs> well, we spoke about this when I had you on the live chat the first time, that I was a bit nervous having you coming on because you've got like 600,000 followers. Well, I've only got like 300 odd. Um. But yeah, at the end of the day, you're just a person. Same if you meet like a football star or, or a film star, they're just flesh and blood. Do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't, and you probably wouldn't class yourself, I'm not famous, you wouldn't class yourself as famous. Yeah, you've got so many followers, but if you walk down the street to Tom, Dick and Harry, you're anybody else because you're not in the public domain as such. Um, oh, so I, get, people... um, I, I get recognised every day when I go and walk out my front door. <laughs> so do I look at this. Corn, Corn, can I have your autograph? No, man, I'm busy. <laughs> I am um, two really weird things. Um, well, I wouldn't say one was weird because I was over focused and um, going to Poundland and I bumped into uh, Lewis, uh, who sent me the subscriber mail. Uh, and I posed, I posed for a photograph. That was a bit weird because, you know, I've never experienced that before. But I got asked to sign my autograph as well. Down, oh, Sign a bit of paper when I was down Westwood Cross once, so it's kind of why. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if 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 that if that person thinks you're great and they do that, and if that makes them happy, then you know that's great. If someone wants to come over here and I'll sign it, James Corden, I'm more than happy to do that. Or you know, whoever I don't mind. Um, 
I mean, have to, I'll have to get I'll have to get James Corden on the on the chat, and then we will do one of those quiz things. You know, spot the difference between photo A and B. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, the wife thinks they look a little bit like Prince Harry. I don't think so. Um, James Corden. I'm not cross between James Corden and Mr. Tumble, the two <laughs> largest people within probably the um, media world at the moment. So that's very kind of them. There you go. But anyway, thanks for the of... election. If we put a bit of happiness into someone's life, then there you go. Exactly. I put I put I put YouTube videos out and started it for something to do, because you influenced me and Jamie influenced me and other people influenced me. I thought, well, you know, why not do something? Start a hobby. You're not doing anything else. You're not playing football twice, three times a week. Why don't you do this? And it's just blown up. You know, it's just great. We've got this community now going together. The Bluetooth community. The the Facebook page. The the Facebook Messenger group that we've got. Um, which is just great. The live streams, everyone's connected with each other. And it's just great. It's all it's like um when you've got one like main YouTube, another one, and you you put them together, like Aliens versus Pret there, Freddy versus Jason, but obviously not in a fight, and you've got these people that you put together on the same screen at the same time, which is nice. And if it makes people happy, then it does it for me. Although put Pete with someone and he'll probably beat the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah, this is very true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure police the police know exactly you know, where it's um Pete lives, let's be honest. It's got my speed down. Uh, the movie that needs a sequel is Big Trouble in Little China. I I haven't seen Big Trouble in Little China. I have oh, to say. Yeah. I know. Sorry, Mark. I apologise. That's that. not that is not as shocking as Rob not seeing Back to the Future. Do you know he's told me this, but you know when he was on your stream or my stream and he said he'd never seen Back to the Future, he's now got Four copies that were sent to him. <laughs> he could take his pick. And then I gave him my login for my US iTunes. So now he's got it on digital as well. So he's got five different versions of it. So yeah, because he, he he said that he came in to came into Back to the Future. The last scene or the first scene he saw was the flying train, and I think that kind of put him off. Yeah, I mean, I well, I suppose we don't know the background, this. so it might do. But uh, yeah, it was funny. I was like said he'd never seen it on streams and the next thing you know people can I send you something can I send you something and he's got like four or five copies <laughs> it's ridiculous uh, it's funny I like Hulk Iron Man Spider-Man and Captain America for the first time oh for the first films yeah okay I do I think Winter Soldier is the best Captain America one though Winter Soldier what the best Marvel no the best Captain America um yeah although civil war is quite close with regards to favorite of the marvel series i would always say iron man one uh, infinity war i think for me yeah. i think just because it started all i quite like iron man and i just think the whole origin thing is brilliant yeah i think iron man was my mum's favorite she just loved the whole Robert Downey Jr. and Tony Stark. Uh, what is your favourite It's uh, So Bad It's Enjoyable movie? I watched a movie called Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. <laughs> it was so ridiculously bad, some guy has even uploaded it onto YouTube. <laughs> was it not so Abraham bad. Lincoln Vampire Hunter? Or was it, is there a different one? Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter. Maybe, maybe there is another one. Because obviously the Abraham Lincoln one. Is is one, but the one is yeah. so bad it's enjoyable. I would probably say, and if Jimmy's watching this, I apologise because I did review it. It was probably Benny Loves You. It was the acting was bad, the humour wasn't there, but it was so enjoyable to watch Benny kill people. Oh, but I keep forgetting it's a Benny or Buddy. I can't remember. Um, but it's didn't really... Jamie review Jamie reviewed that one, didn't he? The other night, yeah, yeah, and that's why I thought I'd I'd, uh, I'd watch it because he said it was like that. They know it's not brilliant because there's not a low budget, but it's enjoyable. Yeah. That's why I'd watch it. But it's not an awesome movie. But but yeah, it's, yeah, it's enjoyable. I'd say it's so bad it's enjoyable. I'd probably get a lot of hate for this. Probably Austin Powers movies. Yeah. No, I think the Austin Powers films are brilliant. All of them. I love every single one of them. It's just got that humour, isn't it? A lot of people yeah. don't get them. Um, I'm probably going to really annoy Kermit now because... 
you could say Flash Gordon, you know, Flash. Yeah. I'm, not a big, I'm not a big fan of Flash Gordon, if I'm honest. It's, it's, it's so corny. The dialogue's corny. The special effects are corny. But it's a classic. It's a great the film. First, the first Mortal Kombat as well. And Street Fighter, probably. We're all so going I'm... to have different ones that we're going to class. Oh, exactly. As... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so bad is yeah, it? Yeah, because I don't think I have any ones in here which are kind of like... Um... Oh, actually, I've got your... You like that one, don't you? <laughs> you know what you can do with that <laughs> I haven't even watched it ever since you said that I haven't watched it um, probably so bad enjoyable is the Has Fallen trilogy well they're not bad I know but they're not excellent but they're enjoyable <laughs> all Resident Evil I like, the, all, I like all the Resident Evil ones the, the Has Fallen I really enjoy them they are enjoyable films for me and there's but, a fourth one coming as well. Is it? Oh, yes. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. What's it going to be, though? The world is I think it's. I think it's something high tech. Okay. I think it's something like something to do with the satellites or something. Uh, I'm still trying to think. It was just so bad. It's enjoyable. I actually own. Night has fallen. Night, as in K night. Uh, as in night time. Not Michael Knight out of Kid. And uh, Night Rider. <laughs> David Hasselhoff coming in. Michael but I think Night actually refers to something. I think it means something. Night has fallen. Clash of the Titans remake. I enjoy that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's still in its early stages. I don't think they've uh, ironed it out yet, what it's going to be about. But yeah, I, I enjoy them. I, I've got the cinema to see the next one of those. I do enjoy them. But they're not the best. Like, like yeah. Resident Evil, they're not the best. But if I did another Resident Evil movie, I'd go and see that. So... I, 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 I want to think get you know what you know what you're watching if you go in to see one of them. You know you're not expecting something that it's not. You know exactly. what you're going to watch. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Goonies needs a sequel. Well, at one point it was going to get one, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I'd love, although they're yeah, you can have, yeah, but they're all older now, so it could be they're all too old. Could be like, they'd have to be their kids. Well, now you could do it in it, chapter two. They were when they're grown up, couldn't they? So I suppose they could do it yeah. like that. Yeah, they could just CGI all the kids when they were younger. Yeah, I see. I think, like I said earlier, I'm, I like Goonies, but I'm not a massive fan of Goonies. I thought, like I said, it was the Monster Squad for me. But there, there you go. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like it is called Jesus Christ of Vampire Hunter. Interesting. I know it's going to go on my watch list later. Big Paulie has fallen is the name of the thing. <laughs> Do you know what? If Big Paulie has fallen, he's never going to get up again. <laughs> uh, Clockwork Orange and Taxi Driver in 4K W2. Um, WT? I think it's probably what the. F maybe. Or I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't mind both of those in 4K. I do like both those movies. Oh, I've never not. seen Clockwork Orange. My, I remember my mum always saying it's such a weird film. It is weird. I went, it was 98, 99, I think, when I was at uni, and it got re released at the cinema because the band was lifted or something off it. And I went to watch it at the cinema and I thoroughly enjoyed it because the soundtrack is very much Mozart and Beethoven all the way through. Um, and then I bought it on DVD, I think. And then I've got it in my Kubrick collection, but I haven't watched it for many years. Uh, and Taxi Driver is just basically. Joker, but like in the 70s. Hmm. DMX has died. Yeah, I saw that come up on. He's a rapper. Who's DMX? He's the brother of BMX. He was like a. <laughs> um, he's got two. He's got a kid called Rally. No, um, I think he was a rapper. Is, it just is he an actor? The, I think he's a rapper. Oh, right, okay. Never mind him. Char not Charlie. Charlie's dead. Phil's died. Yeah, I know. 
poor old Matt Smith. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah. At least they've got some, some more stuff to go into the next series of The Crown. Yeah. Although I don't know if they'll go that modern. I don't, I don't know what year they've gone up to, are they? Because they're doing decades, aren't they? I think there's only going to be another two seasons, I think. Because the Jonathan next season... Price, Jonathan Price is going to play Prince Philip in the next series. Right. And Imelda Staunton will play the Queen. Okay. Because this is the next series will be Diana's death at the end, I'm presuming. There's even a different actress that's going to be playing Diana. Oh, it's not the same one? No, because it's gone on to the next stage. So after every two seasons, they... Redo the you know okay the cast okay. for older. Interesting. Uh, I do enjoy that. It's very much I would say the wife's kind of thing that she would watch, but I like it again. Going back, what's well, about Gladiator about the historical stuff? I love all the and you can read up on it afterwards. I enjoy yeah. that kind of stuff. What is your favourite spoof movie? Spaceballs, Loaded Weapons, Scary Movie. Um, Hot Shots. Oh yeah, or airplane? Airplane, yeah. Um, scary movie, the first scary movie I like, but I think, I think maybe Spaceballs. Do you like Spaceballs? Yeah, I, but... I do like Spaceballs. I'll probably get the four K when I can on that. I do like Hot Shots, though. That is funny with Hot Shots. There was um... one called uh, Lulu bought it for me. Uh, it was a piss take of the Hunger Games. Star something Games? like that. The Starving Games, that's it, yeah. Because then they did, didn't they have something like Meet the Spartans as well as another one. Oh, yeah. And there was another yeah. one like Vampires Suck or something like that. I remember one called, was it that? I know what you did last Halloween while drinking juice in the hood or something. It was like all these names <laughs> put together. Shriek, if you know what I did last Friday the 13th in Halloween or something. Yeah, there was that one. Tell you what, I do need to get. I need to get the Police Academy box set. Wow. All of them? Yeah. All of them. What, Mission yeah. to Moscow? and Every single one of them. I had it, and then I sold it. And then I do this all the time. I'll go, oh, I shouldn't have sold that. And then now to get it back, it's like double the price of what I paid for it originally. I paid like a tenner for it, and I was like 18 to 20 quid. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, I like the Fantastic Four and its sequel, The Rise of the Silver Surfer. Both are good films. Uh, I'd have to disagree. Sorry. I like the first one. Um, if you put Fantastic Four up against the Marvel Universe now, you can just say, yeah, it's just mm. done before the extended universe came into fruition, really. Film Flick oh. is here. Josh? He was probably here half an hour ago, let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, I think we're at the end of the, cre the credits. We're at the end of the comments, actually. Well, yeah, I, I don't know how that happened. I think because I think because the comments bulged about and uh, we lost a load. Oh, and I've just clicked the wrong button. Hang on, where am I going? Where? Am I? Oh man, he's turned the he's turned the light out. What? I pressed to get rid of a note. There we go. I pressed yeah, to get rid of a notification, and again. another thing comes up. But yeah, well, two and a half, two hours, two and a quarter hours isn't bad, to be fair. Yeah, two and a quarter hours is pretty good. Don't forget to take your medication. Yeah, at the bottom. Don't forget your tablets. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll get another shout out in a minute. He, yeah. he always makes sure that I have them. <laughs> yeah, I've got um, to take my painkillers in. Oh, in about a couple of minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <sighs> you don't want to start feeling it, do you? No. The thing is, as well, that you love this. So, so you get there. Sorry for everybody who's watching this. You don't really need to know this. But he goes, right, can you lie down? And then I'm putting my head back and then the nurse is there. And the nurse is really pretty. And I'm thinking, I've got my cotton balls hanging out here. And you're really pretty. And they go, let's so lift the bed up. And I'm lying back. And he puts the thing on it. And he, and he, go, and he goes, you all right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm OK. And he goes, right. And he goes, lie back and think of England. And I was just like, really? And at that point, they then start totally taking your mind off it. So I started advertising my YouTube channel. So hopefully I might do my doctor and my nurse might get I don't think they will. I didn't tell them the name of it, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll do it anywhere, anywhere to anyone. Do you watch YouTube? Yeah, do you want to follow my channel? Okay, I'm a bit busy at the minute here, Paul. All right, okay, maybe next time. But, <laughs> oh dear, excellent. But any, they they uh, they leave the wound open. So there you go. So I've got a big hole. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. All my followers. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Should we leave it on that note? 
Yeah, and on that <laughs> note, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so, that's fine. Yeah, thank you very much for popping by, Paul. I thank you very much for having me. It's nice to be on the stream where I don't have to mess around with putting questions up like I normally have to. Yeah, that's Robin a bit too bad on the trolls either. Not to been too bad. No, I think it's because Scott got, got got in touch with me in the notes. We can go straight and sort them out. So it's 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 all right. It's all good. Mm. Brilliant. And your next stream is on Sunday, isn't it? Sunday with Josh and Jake and Pete and Rob. Indeed, it is. And if yes. you haven't submitted submitted, if you haven't subscribed to this man over here, go and do it now. Magpie movies. Not music magpie. Not music magpie. Now you might get something else. <laughs> no. No. But yes. Well, thank thank you very much, everyone, and um, yep. we'll see you again. I've got two more streams this weekend: one tomorrow uh, with Carl, and then Sundays. I've actually a oh, movie bug. Sorry, yeah. James. <laughs> I forgot who was on Sunday. So popular, he's forgotten your name. Sorry, James. Yeah, brilliant. Okie dokie. Well, uh, thanks everyone, and um, see you on the next video. See you later. Cheerio.